You're tuned into Art Goon Radio, brought to you by UTB Worldwide. Download our app, available in the Apple App Store and the Google Play Store. It's just a lifestyle. Don't trip. It's the man with the plan. I ain't Clark Kent, but some of the ladies do call me Superman. It's your boy, Big Cali. Stream half rare, Art Goon, two-step shout out. Uh, the best money making Muhammad Ali cash is green. <laughs> and this is Art Goon Radio, man. Peace. Ah, coming at you with another one. You like that big ass gust of air? Ah, that's because you hit that joint. I did. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Baby lungs, my nigga. Hey, man. Big man, baby big lungs. Big smoke dog, baby. <laughs> Remember that shit? I thought I was going to say. I've been smoking since I was two, nigga. <laughs> nah, we out here with another one, man. Season, I don't know, two, three. I don't it's know called, what it was. It's called season two. Season two? Season so that two. whole part was all season one. Yeah, season one. 60 season... episodes. You know, we're in, the 90, 90 sitcoms used to have like 30 episodes. In right. Simpsons used to have like 35 episodes. So Damn. we're in a 90 slide right Simpsons now. has too many episodes, bro. Hell That's yeah. wild. Anyway, coming at you with another special guest. Mm-hmm. Man, Ring, I'll let you do the intro, bro. I always do the intro. This I'll is, let you do the intro, this bro. This is my nigga, man. We met him in the studio with my nigga Batman and Primo Rice. Me and Cash just pulled up. Mm-hmm. Cool ass nigga. Went home. Listen to his music, all slaps. I was Slap. like, Slappers. I was like, all right, yep. <laughs> Appreciate it. That's exactly what that's exactly what I want to see, man. With personality, master music. This is my dog Ghost Man from North Carolina Appreciate or South man. Carolina. Appreciate it. I'm from North Carolina. North Carolina, North Carolina man. man. Charlotte. Yep. Yeah, Charlotte. Yeah. Charlotte, yeah. man. What's up, man? How I'm you doing, Cal- brother? I'm cool. I'm cool, man. I really, I really appreciate being here, man. I appreciate y'all having me. Yeah. So. Bro, I know you are just on you're on tour right now. Yeah, it's just yeah, the LA yeah. stop, bro. Yeah. You killed it at the Roxy the other night, too. You and Primo, it, man. man. Yeah. That shit was hard, it. man. Yeah, How's yeah. tour been this past, you know? Uh, it's been an experience, man, especially after talking to, after talking to uh, Cassius and Treem. You know, like, it's only the first two dates, so mm-hmm. I've just been learning it quickly. You know what I mean? Like, and they was telling me some of their experiences and shit, and I'm just like, all right, let me quit bitching, because I was bitching about not having no sleep. And this yeah. nigga was like, oh, nigga, oh, ain't I no said, sleep. Ain't no nigga sleep. <laughs> like, like, he like, nigga, ain't no sleep, nigga. Nah, you know what I mean? So I was like, man. all right, well, let me just, I ain't going to do that. That ain't going to be an excuse no more. Mm-hmm. But, I feel you. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. How you gotta was sleep uh, on the way there. That's it. Your, your only sleep is on the way to the venue. And that's yeah. it. And then when you get off the tour, you fucked up for like a month and a half after. Whole, whole <laughs> trying, to, trying to read yeah. and get back. Trying to get back yeah. into reality. How was uh, Seattle the first day? Seattle was lit. It caught me off guard. I thought it was going to be some bullshit because I... Personally, I feel like it's a bullshit ass city. Hopefully, I ain't offending nobody. <laughs> Fuck, love Seattle. We love Seattle. We love Seattle. All right. It's it's, it's uh, our tour experience. I love it. No, I love it. I our love tour it. experience was very cracking, but for somewhere that rains nine months out of the year, I'll call it a bullshit. It's a bullshit ass city. Yeah, the, yeah. the food that we it. chose to eat was terrible. Ooh. Goddamn the beat. Nah, man, we ain't gonna put them out there. I ain't gonna care. Yeah. I, I don't really, really, really experience the but uh, the sh- Seattle food. The show was lit. I was in the hotel bitching like, man, I'm just, I ain't even gonna put that shit on tonight. I'm gonna just perform in some bullshit and get this shit over with. I wanna know. My man was like, oh, that shit might be lit. That bitch was turnt yeah. up and they was fucking with me. So That's I had to take all that negative shit back because they was really fucking with me. Just left it on the crowd, left it on the stage. Man. Yeah, all yeah, that shit, I went out bro. there and left it. Right, what, what did you eat for real though? Man, <laughs> I wanna know. I ate baka baka. Baka baka? I don't even know don't what know. that what is. What the fuck is that? Chicken? Yeah, chicken spot. The security was like, yo, man. The security at the venue was like, yo, man, this shit is the shit. Like, just go to Baka Baka, get the chicken you can't miss. Mm-mm. That shit was Fucking... straight bullshit. Hey, we went it to so like many... Trash. I'm about to say, it's always those security guard venues that yeah. always be like, they, they girlfriend own the restaurant or some shit, so yeah. they just kind of like send niggas there. Straight up. It's always some extra shit. Hey, look, bro. you ever eat some shit that don't finish eating it, you might put it back in the bag it came in, and you might just sit it in the passenger seat on the floor and keep going. Yeah. Bro, I, I, yep. bro, I ate... Two pieces of chicken wings. I had to stop the car, get out, and throw that shit. I ain't even want to shit. <laughs> Wait, you didn't even want it in your presence? I ordered 10 wings. I spent damn near 40 bucks. I ain't want the chicken in my presence. Wait, damn. wait. $40 for the 10 wings? For 10 wings of cider fries and two sodas. That it is... was $37. Nah, I'm not fucking with that. See, nah. man, you know what? They already failed. I don't yeah. even want to go. Crispy yeah. Crunchy, that'd have been like the 1850. Nah, that'd have been like 13. That shit was good. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, I just ate Crispy Crunchy at the Slauson the other day. That. Crispy Crunchy don't miss. Yeah, hey, crispy I'm crunchy, so glad man. you a real nigga. Be, 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 yo, that shit don't Bro, miss. Yes, we were yeah. talking about Crispy Crunchy chicken like three episodes ago, and we were like, I don't understand how this gas station fucking fried chicken the best fried chicken anywhere. Yep. The biscuits are fire. Because they use the same grease all week. <laughs> that should be aged. That should be perfect. That line by line. Yo. It just ages yeah, over time. It yeah, just gets better bro, and better. Shit. Yo, everything there hits. It do. Yeah. I I've, it's like what I haven't tried, like the little, like, 
the too much of the seafood. Yeah, someone said the cabbage. Oh, no, I, I don't shrimp. fuck around like that. I had the shrimp. I mean, I didn't try the seafood. <laughs> you you try the seafood from <laughs> from Christmas? 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 Yeah. Oh hell no. When I was on my That's strict pescatarian <laughs> diet and I would strictly only eat fish and seafood, I we had gas station there and fish I got that. is different. It was, it was a risky it. move. It was I a risky it. move, but I did yeah. it. <laughs> but I've ate gas station tuna fish before. Ooh. It's gotten dark. It was yeah, a lot of drug days into, in my life. Yeah, now y'all getting in the pants. That's him. I, <laughs> ain't, I ain't never done that. Now. You ain't never ate the tuna fish sandwich at the gas station? Ooh. I haven't I mean, I mean, Oh, so I'm the only one that I was I on I the road. I've the egg salad sandwich at the That's gas station. That's worse. I'll go as far as the airport. Like I eat a tuna fish sandwich yeah, in the little too. freezer in the little refrigerator part. Your eyes are yeah, a lot better yeah. at the airport. Yeah, your not, eyes are a lot better. The gas yeah. station I was wilding. That shit. 50-50 yeah, that's at the gas different. station. 50, 70, 50. 30. And I hit. It, it, don't, it depends. 30 was, though. 30 was it depends if, it, if it's like a travel, if it's like a, like a real travel, like uh, interstate or whatever. They be, they be having some eat. Some gas of them gas stations. Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> um, what's my shit that I always like going to? Loves. Mm -hmm. Loves, is loves. Cool. They're gonna take care of you. Place. They're gonna take yeah. everybody. Know on tour, you go to yeah. Loves. It's the spot. Hell yeah, they be having movie theaters and everything in that motherfucker. Bro, Freshen I up took in that motherfucker. Loves. It was yeah. nice. I wasn't gonna it say it. Nice. See, I'm happy to be around Ridden because I was not gonna say that. <laughs> <laughs> I done the same shit too. Real shit. The he made me feel comfortable. I, I ain't did that before, loves, bro. You had a. Hey, when you I brought it up, I was like, I knew what I did, and I wasn't even gonna say it. It's crazy. That's When you gotta do what you gotta do, my nigga. It's gotta be done. <laughs> Bro, Straight I took up. a shower in the loves. I, I sat down. I watched some shit on my phone for a minute. Took a, you know, chill. I definitely took a That's shower That's when I was coming back loves, from Atlanta. Bro. Like I was telling you, I went to school at yeah. Clark. I was going to say that shit had to be with you. Yeah, your right. I, wrote <laughs> I knew it had to be with you. Nah, hey, I must be choice in the damn show. <laughs> I used to be thugging, bro. I was in Houston one time and I had nowhere to go. I ain't had no time. I had to just... Just do it. Yeah, bro. Right. We have yeah. been there, bro. Mm -hmm. Yeah, bro. Damn, yeah. <laughs> that's hilarious. Well, now, well, now I kind of feel since y'all did it. I'm just like, oh, don't do it. No, no, just I mean, I'm, 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 you know, I'm I mean, like, while we talk about showers and loves <laughs> and shit, I mean, niggas hey, was. Pause. No, I'm just yeah, saying. Yeah, a pause. <laughs> no, I'm just saying. Uh, <laughs> nah, that. I don't. I'm not. I'm not too kind of like spooked to go to take a shower there. You know what I'm saying? I'm I might not, still not bro, do it. I don't it, even but, know if I ever said that out loud. Yeah, but y'all, <laughs> it happens. I never thought. I didn't think about who took showers in the gas station. I thought it would be white truck drivers. Hey, bro. <laughs> real nigga. Hey, man, real hey, every nigga. every single aspect of that gas station is clean as fuck, though. Yeah. It is. It's like when you go in, it's, it looks, it's, it's, it's clean pristine. as it can get. I went to one with a movie yeah. theater. They had a. They had they a had, I they, know it's like three. They had a movie theater, like a little movie room. Oh, I ain't seen that. It's like one in El Paso or something that. like that. It's like one of yeah. them cities yeah. like that. Yeah. Yeah. Movie theater in that bitch. I was like, these niggas just they can do anything, but they didn't do anything. They didn't hanging out, really? chilling, <laughs> jack off room. I'm about to pull the gloves. Pull the gloves. Say what's up. Stations, right? Yep. It'd be some wild shit. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, what's the most you ever spent at a gas station on food? Real shit. Just food and drinks? Food and drinks. No alcohol. No alcohol. That's Probably just like snacks. 60 bucks. Okay. 60? Yeah. Mine was like mine was like in the 30, 40 range. Yeah. Mine, I, I I've really dropped, I've dropped the 70 range. Especially 500 buy? pound Cali got dark. Hella honey buns. Hella donuts. Hella donuts. I was buying shit for everyone there. I was like, I was like, what Taquitos, up? Taquitos, hot Ain't dogs. no cap. I'm a show by like three hot dogs. I know what you and used a, to do. I remember the old you. I remember Bixie the old you. always gets the cookies at the register for some reason. I do. I still do. He thinks Fuck like they're like freshly they're great. baked. But yeah, I don't they're know. great. It's like a treat because I never know what I'm going to get. I never know what flavor they got in the middle of that day. It's like a fake ass bakery. This nigga He's a always gets the cookies and he always just... Not to feel guilty, this nigga tried to offer me. He's like, hey, here, here goes some cookies. I was like, nigga, I didn't, I didn't fucking order these. Did you not eat some? <laughs> yeah. I take a little bite. <laughs> See, man. I, I, I but I didn't order that shit. I would always take one. It was always fire. I ain't going to lie. Thank you. This See, nigga, that's nigga do the one you used to hit. Hey, I ain't gonna lie, they the hit. one the Chevron by the uh, by your crib hit. hits. Yeah, those they be smack. They be baking them. I don't buy them, but the only eat them when you got them. Shutter. I cannot say that name. Schmuckers. Studebaker. That might be it. It might be Studebaker. Studebaker. I like Studebaker. Yeah. yeah. It's like a red it's like thing. A, it's like a, a white and red label, up. and it's like kind of curved, like, it's like backwards. Schumer, it's good as fuck. Yeah, it's good. <laughs> it's Shoemaker, fine. Schumer. Hey, shut up. Okay. <laughs> that, I, I ain't about to. Y'all bro, why baby. don't we go down this rabbit hole? He was telling us about the tour. Oh yeah, shit. Yeah. We went. We was talking about red nigga shit. Yeah, yeah. We were. We were because that is a part of the tour. You yeah. got to get used to that, Come on, yeah. man. Because I remember you, you were telling me like I've been flying most of my tours. Yeah, we flying everywhere. Well, See? once we get to the East Coast, I'm gonna drive. I'm gonna drive to Atlanta because I'm four hours from Atlanta. I'm gonna try to drive to DC. Cause I'm six hours from there, yeah. mm -hmm. but everywhere else we flying. Hey that man, shit is wild. That, that shit is silly. Mm -hmm. Tour road driving, it's like, man, it brings the real niggas out of everybody, yeah. bro. Ooh. You see, you see what niggas is really about. Yeah, I had a breaking point in St. Louis. <laughs> it got dark. It was okay. That
Oh my god, yeah. that was like that was a brain tester, that. bro. Which one? Yeah. I don't know. We had, we I forgot where where we were going, but it was, was a 14, it was a fourteen hour stretch. I think it was, it was Smokers was, Club or something. It was fourteen hour stretch. Was I on that one? Nah. So okay. it wasn't anything like. What's the logistics? How y'all did it? Like, because I was thinking we we should have did the West Coast region, and then if it, we had a driver, we should get on the flight to like. Texas and then meet the driver in Texas yeah. and do all the Texas yeah, yeah, yeah. and yeah. go to That's Nashville smart. like that. That's so smart. y'all drove just we all just, the way the through. whole time. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And yeah. Niggas in a met big circle like this. Basically. Niggas met up in like New York, went from New York. That was the yeah. first time I went from New York yeah. to like can no Boston. We went it to was, Philly to New York. Yeah. Canada ended up in there somehow, some way. And then we like went up and around through the Midwest. And then up to Seattle, then down through California, and um, oh, that was that tour. That was that smoke yeah. Club tour. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm talking yeah. about the smoke Dizzle tour. I didn't go on that one. Okay, we started no I smoked it. Oh yeah, we got flown to New York. Yeah, I forgot. And yeah. then we first yeah, I was in drove Boston. all the way across the nation. Nah, we kind got, of. Oh no, it was only east. That was only east coast. Tour. East coast. That yeah. one was. I've driven across the nation twice. What was twice. the one where you're we went to one Texas one. and we you're went you're to you're Florida? Talking about the, you're talking about the uh, the second smokers go tour. When, that's the one Sylvia flew us to. We flew from Fris we flew to Frisco, got our bus, got our shit in Frisco. Yeah, and then started. We went all the way up Texas, yeah. all that shit. Was, and that'll was, really test your mind, my nigga. Yeah, that'll test I see the, the nigga get fired mind. on tour. We don't even say his name, but <laughs> oh. I, see, I see the real life firing. Shout out my nigga, man. Shout yeah. out this nigga. He was cool. He just wasn't ready, bro. Mm -hmm. He was dealing with real professional artists. My nigga stopped the car on what the freeway. Did he, do? He, he reversed on the freeway, nigga. Oh. <laughs> Damn. I was like, what was the reason? This for the nigga reversed on the freeway. No, me and Cash was out there, bro. I was scared of. I heard he did. Had heard he did a lot of other shit crazy, but the, the day, that, day, that day, this nigga, because it was you know you missed the exit, the next one might be hella miles away, yeah. and then he was like, you missed that. There was cussing him out. You missed the exit. This motherfucker just, just pushed oh. the brakes. Oh, I done done some dumb shit. And start reversing. <laughs> in, a, in a Mercedes Sprinter? In the cargo. Nah, we nah, in a nah, Sprinter, nigga. Nah, 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 nah. Eight other niggas, hey, grown nah, men. Nah, nah, nah. Eight grown men in niggas there. Like, what the fuck is you doing? I'm Cussing sure. them out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All from different hoods all around the nation. Yeah. Just in one car. Yeah, just that talking. Was, that was a good nigga, man. But yeah, yeah, he just, just, his, 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 his driving was crazy. Crazy. Damn. Wow. As you can see, people, we have some PTSD from tour. <laughs> Yo, you see what just happened? That felt good. Yep. I need to get that out. Sorry. Yeah, you can't day. stop that. You can't stop that abruptly. Anytime you stop abruptly, it's like you run the most red lights in a sprinter van, my nigga. Because it's like you yeah. can't you can't just, oh shit, it's you, yellow, and it's, you push He's that brand, nigga. Every, I got a speeding yeah. ticket. Everything in Iowa. falls, nigga, yeah, in the car. Falls. I, next I, I got a speeding <laughs> ticket in Iowa driving the uh, van. Real shit. Yeah. I ain't paid it yet. It's cool. <laughs> yeah, fuck them. Hey, come, hey, come lock this nigga Big C up. Bro, gonna this gonna go to, I, if I go to Iowa, I deserve it. I feel you. Fuck it. Shit. It happened. It, yeah. I, I had it coming. Like yeah. what? Being in ticket and I. Oh yeah. Well, yeah. Iowa. Was going through Iowa. Yeah. I was working. They, going they, ninety. They shut the Max the, B off the sour hard. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> That's the one city where they shut the city. They shut the whole streets down. Like at a certain when the yeah, club ends, they was deep. They locked the whole like the whole yeah. street lock. It's like empty. Like they. That was like, the day that uh, gotta go home. got mad because I rode in the front seat because yeah. yeah. the cop the cop put me in the front seat and we were talking and we had a conversation about life. Oh yeah. And then yeah, I yeah, got out. He just gave me like a little. And from his base to getting his orders from his uh, old hey, job. Stop. <laughs> Uh, uh, nope, we're not doing that. <laughs> he got yeah, pulled man. over and they had he was he uh, was chilling in the front seat of the cop car with his like legs. I was like, what the fuck is he doing Look, having a chip? It's chip? all about conversation. These are all true stories on tour. Damn. Are you <laughs> are you an informant, sir? No, I'm yeah. not. No, I'm okay. not. It's first off, it's called conversation. It's called being calm. Okay. <laughs> okay. okay. Right. I just had to add. I asked one question. That's all I did. You know, and I all and right. you have to realize, you know, half the time they can smell it on you just like a dog. You know, yeah. they can smell the fear. You gotta hide in plain sight with them folks. Hello. Yeah. I learned yeah, that in the south though. That's, That's some other shit. Yeah. When they call you boy and then like look at you in the face yeah. and you just be like, all right. Well, yeah. <laughs> I just got pulled out here uh, the night of the show for the first time. And what? I've been out here for years. Mm. Wait, so this isn't your first time in Cali? Hell no. Nah, you know? I used to live out here. Where'd you yeah. live? I live like off of Cimarron, like mid-city. Oh, okay, yeah. okay. Yeah, yeah. 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 Damn, so wait, you got pulled over by some cops out here just recently? This is like the show that just yeah. passed? Yeah, leaving the show, we went to Boston Nova. After Boston over, I just bent the corner. The fucking music wasn't working, so everybody thought I was tripping, but I really wasn't. I, I I turned the car off, and I just cracked the door. I didn't, like, open the door wide open. It was a police officer right there, but I ain't doing shit, and I don't give a fuck. Yeah. You know what yeah. I mean? <laughs> so I, I cracked the door, and I shut it just to kind of restart the car because I needed yeah. to hear some music. Yeah. Man, as soon as the light turned green, 
punk motherfucker got behind me and pulled me over. Yeah. Said my lights weren't working. I said, Ness, the fuck they are. I turned the car <laughs> off and turned the car back on. I hate that, man. Yeah. Why do you, I didn't do nothing. Leave me alone, bro. Hey, just like on a, what was that, 4th of July? Yeah, me and him, guy. We was he getting out of the car. Is the this crib. a rental? Yeah. I said, yeah, man. They got extra patrol by Boston over though, because niggas been getting robbed and shit over there. So they yeah. that's why. That's mm-hmm. stupid. Yeah. But they put me on blast though, man. It was nasty. What? Yeah. yeah, man. It was nasty. They let me, they 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 let me go, obviously, but you know, mm-hmm. they like I showed them everything. I showed them the rental agreement and my license, and then the motherfucker was like, All right, I'm gonna run your license. If you good, you can go. So the speaker came back, he has a pickup order. Warrant to South Carolina only. And then I'm like, God damn, I got a car full of people who don't know this shit. So I'm like, God damn. So he gonna lean in. Did you know you had a warrant? I said, bitch, that nigga I do now. Fuck. He let, he let me go though. It was just weird, man. Yeah, whatever. Niggas in LA and New York, cops in LA and New York really be looking for people that's really up to no good all yeah. day long. Yeah. Like, they want the real shit. Yeah. They just was like, fuck. They couldn't get nothing. They could look at you and say, I'm willing to gamble. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, I'm sure it's. The fact that they start looking na- nationwide yeah. on you, they're like, yeah. all right, nothing local. Just yeah. nothing. All right, like, get all right, on out of here. Yeah. Let's yeah. look at another database. <laughs> yeah. About to get Bernie Mac on Don't Be a Menace. Yeah. <laughs> I hate Black Pepper. I hate Black Pepper. Hey, Black Keys on the piano. <laughs> I get Goldberg's guns. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, how is how was the show at the Roxy? Because from my perspective, it was super cracking. In LA, is a hard, yeah, very hard. It's hard to come out here and have it cracking yeah. in the Roxy. In LA, and I just, been, I just here. thought about that. You know, mm-hmm. I was thinking about that earlier today. It was good. Mm-hmm. Um, it was some guys that was kind of annoying me at the front. Mm-hmm. Like it, so I felt like guys. I was getting he- so heckled. Mm-hmm. You know. Because mm-hmm. they was like trying to hand me their phone to put my Insta- Instagram in it while I was performing. Come on, man. And I, hey. I don't have no lyrics on my song, and damn near anything will yeah. throw me off. Yeah. And yeah. I need to tighten that up. So yeah. the whole time, they're literally trying to hand me the phone hey. while I'm rapping. So the one time I had to stop, I say, hey, my nigga, let me do my work. Damn. And I'm going to, I'm I'm you know, yeah. without trying to be like, I'm there already because I'm not. Yeah, so yeah. I didn't want to just front on niggas. I appreciate you fucking with me, but yeah. let me rock. That's yeah. So weird. other than that, you know, the crowd, the crowd was cool, but they was just ready to see Primo. Yeah, so, yeah, you know, yeah. As soon as I got off stage, motherfucker said, bring Primo Rice out, nigga. <laughs> I was like, God damn, how long you been feeling like that, gang? Like, <laughs> <laughs> <You're> stupid. <laughs> you're stupid. Hey. I wasn't even off the stage. Bring that nigga Primo yeah. out. I said, oh, Man, shit. There's, yeah. there's, that's, that's how it goes, bro. Yeah. Yeah. It ain't even that, but that's a part of it, bro. The yeah. fact that you came out to L.A. and still yeah. killed. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. And that shit, that shit happens very rarely, too. That shit, it's yeah. like... And then niggas just being jackasses. Yep. Yeah. They was probably faded in the front, like excited, like, bro, we got it. We gotta get this music, man. Come on, man. Hurry up. I Give thought I was me. gonna get a little, a little more engagement because so much. If I did 12 songs, six of them, I got heavy California bars in there because I do, you know, I be yeah. out here often. So I was just like, damn, y'all, can y'all not hear me? You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Cause they Kind of looking at me, they were kind of rocking with me, but I'm thinking like, all right, I'm gonna win them with yeah. these California yeah. bars. I ain't reaching. It's just what it is, you know. Yeah, yeah. And it was just kind of LA's yeah. very spoiled, my dude. LA yeah. and New York, bro, have yeah. seen it all. Yeah, they seen it all. Yeah. And the fact that it it was good, that's that's great because there's a lot of shit niggas damn near get tomatoes thrown at them in LA. I've and seen New York. Roxy damn. performances go yeah. crazy. I've, I've seen booze. Yeah, I've really? seen all. Yeah, types of Roxy's shit. not an easy. Yeah, like really? sell. Yeah. That's West, that's WeHo, and it was a Tuesday. Yeah. yeah. So you got to realize, everyone there had to work or something to do tomorrow. Right, mm-hmm. yeah. It's very few that was just there, West, so the fact that they were all there engaged, still yeah. chilling. West Hollywood, You were walking Hills. around taking pictures and shit with niggas. Yeah. I saw you, you know? Yeah. Like, that's that's a vibe, bro. Yeah. No, that's dope. Nah. Hell yeah, It's all a learning experience for me, man. Like, mm-hmm. And this I, is your first tour, right? Hell yeah. Yeah. Never got, never got this close before. I've mm-hmm. been doing this shit a long time. When did you like first start getting yourself like where did it all start? You said South Carolina, correct? I'm from North, North, Carolina. North Carolina. Excuse yep, me. Yep. I was thinking about South Carolina or something else. Sorry. South Carolina State, man. I had a party. No, I was thinking right? about Clifton. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, sorry. Yeah. But just around like t- 2013, I've been just kind of honing my craft, man, and just trying mm-hmm. to get it together. The last three years, I've been getting a response that's been telling me like, all right, take this shit really serious. So. I really should say, I, you know, I just been rapping for the last three years because I don't know what I was doing to them other five, you know. Just figuring it out. Yeah, I was just, in. Yeah, just getting it together, trying to find my uh, my delivery, my swag, my my confidence yeah. in it. And I really done found that shit. 
Yeah. So that shit just been working out. That's a pretty out. decent time though to go to be on your t- first tour three years, nigga. That's, that's pretty that's straight. Great. Yeah. Yeah. Hell you yeah. Start taking shit serious and tour three years later. That's 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 yeah. fire. Yeah. That's very 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 For tight. Real. Cause tours, that's the real learning experience. That's that's how you get your bread as an artist. Yeah. And it's the hardest thing to like crack through and get people to fuck with you right. if they don't even know your music. Right. You know what I'm saying? When you think about that, when you like, when you think of by a bystander, you're like, someone's just looking at you like, I don't know. Right. And they really start fucking with you like, this thing is kind of hard. That's a hard thing to do, especially in California, New York, those places like that. Yeah. So when you, when you start honing facts. in on your craft, like you say, that's when you can get to the paper, you know? Straight up. Facts, facts, man. Mm-hmm. Well, I, you know, the way we do with the show, we always like to see how everybody been doing. So, you okay. know, we go in there. How you been doing these past, you know, couple weeks, man, besides tour? So, with that, how's, every, how's getting used to everything like that? Getting used to this, I guess, moving lifestyle, unless it's what you've been doing. I'm not really sure. Yeah, I, I naturally move around often, but I've been, uh, I've been cool these last few weeks. You know, i just really been getting prepared for this, you know? And I tried to shut down all the... All the other bullshit that I used to have going on, cause I knew this was coming up, you know. Right. So the last two weeks, the last few weeks have been kind of stressful, cause I just ain't want to get in no trouble, do no dumb ass shit. I ain't want nothing <laughs> to happen. Be cool, yeah. Like I, like, I want to stay road. in the house mm-hmm. and yep. see this day to well, I'm fly to Seattle and just, you know. So I kind of been in the crib and not doing shit, you know what I mean, until it was time to leave. That's what's yeah. better than me. I caught a charge right my first tour, right before it, like like two weeks before my first tour. I caught no a charge. No shit. Yeah, bro. Before yeah, nigga, when, I went, when I went to jail, nigga, when, when yeah. I went. Oh, wait. I, bro, I blanked out, bro. I forgot. <laughs> bro, it's been that long, bro. Yeah. You don't even do a shit. That's why I'm like, I'm like, wait, what? I was like, oh, damn. Hey, well, nigga, shit happens. And I was, yeah, I was just, I was just trying to make money to go to tour. That looked, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like, and that's I was, how that, yeah. That's how it be, man. Right there, bro. Ever since I chilled ever since ever since that's so I didn't do like you said, I don't I didn't I don't do nothing right before tour now. Yeah. I'm like, bro. Yeah. No, I can't fuck this up. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Straight yeah, up. Yeah, so since you've been out here, what you been on? After uh, after the show. I seen you was at Nova. My Noble. nigga Ghostman is he's he is a flexor, Instagram flexor. Well, he yes. be eating, he be eating good, my <laughs> nigga. Yes. Yeah, I like to eat good, man. That. I I just I don't know. I I, I went to Novo. I've been going to Ivor in uh Beverly Hills. Mm-hmm. Oh, so you've been going to the spots. Yeah, I know. He, 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 he pulls up. Yeah. How's that Nobu experience, man? Nobu's I had a crazy ass like, Nobu. If I'm here, if I'm here for two weeks, I'll go three, four times, you know, <laughs> at brunch. Yeah, for real. For real, nigga. Uh, I just I just I really believe it. in law of attraction, you know what I mean? Like yeah. I put myself around shit because it is it's you know, I meant I want to manifest certain things and yeah. I really believe in the law of attraction. I want it to be regular. Yep. You know what I mean? That's yep. what that makes sense. Yeah, I want the experience to become regular and then it'll just happen in my life. You know So what? question, yeah. do you cash out every single time you go there? Does it get crazy every time? It gets do you crazy just have like me every time? <laughs> <laughs> but you said you you spent four hundred. I, I don't spend four hundred in there. Yeah. Yeah. See, last time I went there, I spent like four. But I had the chefs like special and they had the wagyu at the end and yeah. we had the the pairing with the, the sake pairing. Yeah. It was it was a whole thing, man. They got some $3,800 uh, bottles of sake in there. I said, what the fuck is this? I want to- Did we have crazy. a shot of that? Uh, I remember we had a shot of something no, crazy. No, you and Kel had like six different shots of like some some paired stuff with like your meal or whatever. See, yeah. I'll get a sushi roll, I'll get like 20 tacos, a few cocktails, Talk about, and I'm good. See? Hold on. I was people that's there. I eating tacos. Yeah. The tacos. Mind you, we're not in, we ain't going to even talk about niggas' pockets. Well, let's just keep it in perspective. Yeah. These tacos. You get like what three of them? Um, no, you order them by the one, and they like one. Yeah, Wait. like what, like seven dollars or something Each. like that. Well, they different, but the lobster is like ten or twelve. Okay, yeah. And then the steak, Ooh. the the, the wagyu, wagyu, the yeah. wagyu is like fifteen. Fire. I get 10, 10 <laughs> wagyu and ten, <laughs> 10 lobster, wagyu. and I'm lit. I'm like, God. Damn, that's Don't it give you energy when you eat that kind of stuff, though? You really feel fire. the nourishment and, yeah. like, how it, man. Yeah. That's normally my brunch, and then I leave there, and I go right to the pier, and I just walk down, and I look around, and I, then I leave, come back to the city and shit. And, I love a 20 taco brunch. A 20 yeah. taco, taco lobster <laughs> wagyu brunch. Yeah, I go nuts up there. Yeah. See, man, I just, but here's the thing, like, when I go there, I, I can't do it. I, I'll go dumb every time. Yeah. Like, on tour, you can bring it back on tour. Me and this nigga, all of us, fucking eight, that's probably the best I've eaten in my life. Yeah, we we were supposed to be chill. Like there's there's them saying you because it, it makes up for like them road trips where niggas. There's days when you just eating chips, nigga. You know yeah, what I'm <laughs> like you just yeah. That's what I've been trying to gas stage and shit. Yeah. But there's like, yeah, go ahead. We got a week in between the next date, and I just was like, I can't do it. This shit is 
hella expensive. Yeah. And I can't burn myself out like yep. that. I was supposed to go stay with my man today. This motherfucker was like, <coughs> man, I think I got COVID. I'm like, motherfucker, are you trying to tell me you don't want to? So I just went and booked, you know, a new room for the for the rest of my stay and shit. Yeah. Because I got the COVID. Yeah, he hit me with the, <laughs> he hit you with the COVID, oh, man. The COVID got me. I said, come on, dog. Yeah, hey, niggas is yeah. different, bro. I, like, I respect it, but it's like, fuck, bro, I guess. Yeah. yeah. But, hey, man, man the double baby come, bro. You got to be ready for those. Unexpected changes. Right. LA, man, New York. It's a wild place, bro. Hey, yeah, man. New York. The wake New up, York's spend 500 bucks. Just, well, just to wake up. You got yeah. oh, Here's worse in New York. <laughs> you, nah. nah. Yes, it is. You think so? I know so. This, he you think he has been out here hella times, yeah. though. So this is from, New York. This is from someone. I have, to, I have to write. We're from California. He has the, the most. Yeah, you're yeah. right. Yeah. You're and right, we're kind of spoiled. And we only we drive to LA and we only go to New York. And we're like, man, New York crazy. But someone that gets to experience both has a different man, perspective. Man, depending on how you how you feeling, like you could at least go. You can get some good street food. You can go out and ride ride the metro and do some shit like that. You're right. Yeah. You're right. Your business. You might can catch a thirty dollar Uber both ways and and eat. Twice or whatever and be smooth out this motherfucker right here. <laughs> Boy, they gonna tap them motherfucking pockets. Yeah, I love you. It's fifty dollars as soon as you get in the yeah. lift to go anywhere. Oh, I'm Uber at the, anywhere. Or... I'm at the hotel is 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 forty. You know, I stay overnight. It's forty. I go to the airport, drop my people off. I come back, and between nine and twelve. Somehow it's another twenty dollars. You know what I mean? Just <laughs> yeah. to get out the parking again. And I'm like, okay, I might go eat somewhere. Then I. It's just mad Wait, shit. Wait, so you have to pay for parking every time you come Yeah, and go. yeah, the hotel I just left. Oh, that's left. cap. Yeah. Oh, that ain't right. Sounds yeah. like L.A. to me. That's L.A. Yeah, <laughs> that's some like L.A. LA little... Yeah. Hey, bro, my car just got towed this last week just because I parked in front of my house at 7.30 a.m. Because oh, you can't park between 7 a.m. and 9 a.m. and I overslept. I had to pay $260 for the nigga to just drop the car. Yeah. It, it didn't even leave the property. Bro. L.A. I got towed out here one time because, you know, when they got the street cleaning... Yeah. You know, you can't park on that side. Yeah. Or some shit like that. They done took my shit. I done beat them to the tow yard and they still tax me like two something. Yeah. So I said, bro, y'all. Yeah, LA is different, bro. That's you gotta have you gotta be different. You gotta be yeah. ready for the yeah. LA tax. But that's why if you can make it here or anywhere, you can make it anywhere. You can make it anywhere. Literally. Yeah. You can go, you could go to motherfucking Indonesia right now and, and kill the game. Right. LA Facts. prepares you for fucking I love it here anything. Still. With everything I just said, I love yeah, it. I love yeah. Indonesia. I love it. <laughs> Where you want to go? Pick places. any country, nigga. You'll kill the game off. Indonesia's yeah. so tight. Hell yeah. I'm down to go there. Duh, nigga. I heard Indonesia was one of the most Is beautiful that places. Thailand? Bali. Or what's Bali, in, in the Bali's in Indonesia? Thailand's yeah. Thailand. Indonesia, it has the most islands on the world. It's like a hundred some islands. Dang. It's like See, a big and country. niggas is cashing out to go to Miami, bro. Yeah, no, because yeah. they don't know no better, man. Like, I, I, I've, I've done it. He's like, I got, I, we've all done it. We all, he's like, I got to stop doing it. Stop doing that. Yeah. Indonesia, I went to Costa Rica. Indonesia. That shit was popping. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. Rica's tight. It, I went to Mexico. It costs just as much. Where'd you go in Mexico? Uh, Cancun. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Got sick as a motherfucker. Lost the whole day. It was it was cool, though. <laughs> From food or what? Food. Okay. I got, I got sick, too. I went pescatarian, and that shit threw me all off, and I tried to, like, drink heavy, and I got all fucked up. I just, it was all fucked up. Damn. Yeah. Are you still pescatarian? Yes, but I'm cheating a lot more. Hey, <laughs> yes. I'm cheating, I'm cheating a, lot a lot more. more. A whole lot of air in your cheek when you see... <laughs> yeah, I don't know what that was about, bro. <laughs> I look, I look, I look like Thinking I about just, some good old chicken. Yeah, yeah. Man, I've been. I ain't gonna lie. I've gotten chicken strips at least four times this year. Hey, and I, the, all of last year, I probably only did it like two or three times. Damn. And two of those was two days in a row. Straight damn. Down. <laughs> Me, hey, I ate Chick Fil A with this nigga. <laughs> I told him I was like, I, I took a picture. I was like, hey, my nigga, I'm at Chick Fil A. He said, I, I'm gonna pull up. The next day, we went to Chick Fil A back to back day. Yep. I was like, I was like, hey, nigga, I'm sad. I went back in. He said, he said, nigga, he said, I just pulled up too. <laughs> but I hadn't had it in like a year and a half, my it's nigga. So when I had it, that shit was hitting so crazy. And yeah, them lines be too long. So hey, I just gotta make a real life decision. Yeah. I'm gonna be real with you, as a real nigga, and you can't just do raising canes, bro. It's overrated. I'm gonna be honest with you. I, I, I've it's ate good. it so much. At, when I didn't eat it a lot, I yeah. used to love it, right? We don't have that in our region, so I love yeah. it. Exactly. Yeah. Once you have it in your region, you eat it like 35 times within yeah. a year. That's a lot. But if you break it down, it's like two times every couple of weeks. Yeah. You eat that much, bro, It's you realize it's just the sauce and that goddamn toast. Man, yeah. when I was in Vegas, the my little thing, I that shit every day. It has no seasoning. They don't season the Sad. chicken. 
That's what I don't with like. With some about bullshit it. out here is that cars junior y'all got. That's oh yeah, that's like hard. Yeah, junior. that's like what worse though. Yeah, it's just like hard. Yeah, you don't like, I never heard Carl Jr. Yeah. said that. Me and that you bump heads about four. Yeah, I still yeah, got see, a bone I like to this. Me. I like this. I still got a bone. He, he said Waffle House is trash, and I just you like, like you like Waffle House. I love Waffle House. That's why you're a real nigga. <laughs> see, what you I said is you like Denny's, right? No, he hates Denny's too. Hey man, don't smoke. Was it Bob Evans? Ghost man, don't you? Uh, uh, don't you start? You might have said Denny's. What'd you say? It was it was one of those. I, I, def- I, I definitely I definitely threw a crazy one out. I definitely smoked Waffle House out, but I don't remember what I said. I compared it to. It was either Denny's or Bob Evans. He was like, "It ain't got shit on this place." I'm like, "They got fifty things on the menu. They can't hey. do shit good. They ain't got no specials. Look. Talk your shit. When you got I'm that much you on the menu, it, you ain't good as shit. You got. I go to Waffle House. I get the same thing for the last ten years. And you get like the regular breakfast was, plate, like the, the Waffle. American? I get this uh, Texas cheese steak. Oh, you a real nigga? Cover with the cover like, hash browns. What's, what's oh, the little picture that, you posted the other day? That was fucked up. I went to a fucked up one. But you know. But you he know, it's a picture the other day, and I was like, wait, wait, wait. So it was a picture? Wait, what was oh, picture? yeah, that shit was Let's fucked up. Let's talk about the picture. <laughs> uh, I could probably find wait. it because he commented on it. Let me wait, see. what's the picture? I, I said, hey, bro, I'm about to screenshot this, and we got to talk about this. This looks like some crazy ass shit, bro. <laughs> I need it was to see crazy. This. Yeah, it was crazy. I ain't gonna lie, it was crazy. <laughs> Hold on. So, like, what was in the, like, what was bad about it? It looked, oh, it just man, looked like some, it looked like some slop. Come on, man. Hamburger Helper. They tried me, I done found it. On, what is it? What hey, is man, that? Hey man, you gotta pass hey, that phone bro. over here. Hold on. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> they give it a goddamn phone. I want to see it. Hey, hey, hold on, man. What the fuck is that? Some goggles, man. Oh, sorry, buddy. The fucking goggles. Hey, what? Where is Look it? Look at my phone. <laughs> I can't do this? it. Anymore. That's Waffle House, bro. Hey man, it had a slice of American cheese on it. That look. That look hey, like. Why they do that? It's never looked like that. No, that like a refrigerator magnet. I'm gonna be real. When I was in when I was in Clark, Waffle House fed me so many times when I didn't have a lot of money, bro. That's why I like Waffle House. It's the most realest nigga restaurant ever. Yeah, man. It's like going to your auntie house that really don't like you, but she fuck with you. Like, she ain't going to let you die, but she going to make you know that. I don't want to Like, my partner there. say, Waffle House is the original hibachi, man. Low key. Hey, man. Low key. That shit up right hey, in front low key. Of you, man. Give me nope. credit, bro. Oh, y'all get makes they sense. They cook it right yeah. in front of you, bro. You know what's going my on. My partner always say that like shit. that, then, if they cook it right in front what's of you. What does it taste like, Ray? It tastes like weak. It tastes unseasoned. They be giving me cold runny eggs. See, cold you went waffles. to Waffle House in Arizona. Oh. I've been in fucking uh, Atlanta. It was cold good. Waffle. And uh, I was in. I I went to one in North Carolina. Matter PTSD of fact, or something. Too. Now you went to one in North Carolina. See, he had you see a what he's trying to the, do? Hey, <laughs> the, hey, CJ. This is this is right before he picked you up. When we got arrested on tour with Wiz, we got arrested in North Carolina, right? Yeah, it was, it? E- it was East yeah. Carolina. It was North East Carolina, Carolina, but it's State. East Carolina. Oh, okay. Okay. Got Greenville? Yep. Ooh. It was exactly what that is. <laughs> he had a yeah, out there. And then when we got out of jail, we went to Waffle House in North Carolina. And I hated it. Oh, we did. Because you're fresh Oh, out of we jail. did. Yeah. Now, you would I would have hated would anything. Fire, but I went to one when I was going to Arizona State, too. What did you order? A waffle and some eggs and some sausage or something. The All-American. I don't know what it's called. I, I don't go there. Go I don't there pull there up too. there. I don't know what it's called. <laughs> it come with toast. You know, I like it. The grits is good. Like, you yeah. just got to season it up. You got to put your own salt and pepper. What was that shit that he just showed us, though? I got cigarette That was, that was fucked up. You know, that <laughs> happened time to time. It literally come with the territory. You feel me? But I can roll the dice on it. It happened time, time to time. Waffle House, blackout drunk is the shit. Sorry. Yeah, it just don't miss. <laughs> Sorry, it don't. It, it has never I've missed. Had it, I've had it like hungry, just needed something quick, get a little sausage biscuit for a dollar. That's the worst stipulation. <laughs> Waffle House blackout. Drink. Yeah, we don't know you nothing don't about miss. life. Just go there. <laughs> we are about to pass out. No, no, it makes sense, though. It makes sense, though. I swear. <laughs> I swear. It's great. Yeah. I don't know, man. That's that's wild. Whatever bro. that cheese was on that hash brown, whatever that was, that was crazy. That was wild. <laughs> I ain't never had that. I couldn't co sign that all the way. That looked yeah. like a DoorDash steak or something. Yeah, they that gave me cool, hash brown man. chips. That shit was awful, dog. I was like, what the yeah, fuck is that, this? Where was that at? That was in Charlotte, man. And, and it was actually the one that I frequent. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like, I go here when I want to get my shit done right, and they fucked me over. Yeah. Mm, sounds yeah. like some Waffle House shit. You know, I just thought about in North Carolina, the the music scene out there is actually like it's it's, it's niggas that came out of there that's really really cracking. Like, what's it you like out so? there? Yeah. yeah, for sure. Like who? Fucking J Cole, the yeah. baby. Yeah, fucking like outside um, of Petey Pablo. Petey Pablo. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yeah, I forgot about nigga Petey. Petey Pablo had Petey one of the hardest North Carolina songs ever, bro. Uh, 
Somebody was talking about that the other day, man. I said, I, I guess I need to start putting more respect to my man, P.D. Pablo name. Mm -hmm. P.D. Pablo has frequently yeah. that I DJ and I play frequently. Yeah. Frequently, frequently will be played forever until the Goodies, end of time. Goodies, mm -hmm. his verse on Goodies, he started off with Sierra's career. <laughs> oh, that was the first. Man, 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 man. Yeah, yeah. Was, and he was, was on Goodies. <laughs> and yeah. he was on um, Drumline. Yeah, and he had one. Of, he pulled up in a white Bentley with the white fur coat. Damn, you got all the Pete Pablo stats. Pete <laughs> Pablo's hard, bro. I completely forgot about this. Man. No, offense. no offense to the OG. Uh, yeah, oh. it's she some old people. Dead. My boy, uh, my boy Stefan Tynes. Shout out Tynes. He's a he lives out there. He was showing me hella rappers out there though, like yeah. hella like different other rappers dope. that's out there that's yeah. really making noise out it's there. Some bro. dope ones, man. It's, so what's like the music scene out there now? Like it's European. not really a scene because we don't have you know it's so fucked up out there that a lot of venues don't allow you to perform. So if you get a space like me and my collective of friends and maybe a few others are the only people throwing their own shows in the whole city. And no shit. Every now and then, people get booked and do shows and shit, but it's not really a scene where you can go and be heard. But now we got the internet and shit, and you got people who's been doing their thing. Mm -hmm. So I keep up with a lot of, of the dope artists through the internet, but I never really see them. That's what I think of when I think of a music scene. Like, where right. can I go to say, oh, yeah, he been grinding for a minute. Yeah, yeah. You know? Straight so up. then how do people, like, the internet? Is that? Yeah, you got to, and niggas got to move around, you know what I mean? Like... The trap, the trap artists, you might catch them in the club. The 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 artists with artistry, you catch them in this area called Plaza, Plaza Midwood. Gotcha. You know what I mean? And then everybody else kind of just blend in, like. But you never really see people. Yeah. Unless somebody have an event, and it's not often. Yeah. It was North Carolina yeah. when I when I did that shit on that roof. That was North Carolina. Okay. Yes, yeah, okay. Yeah, it was North Carolina. Carolina. Okay. okay. Like, yeah. Why'd you whisper that? You know what I mean? It's not something like you know, I don't like. Like niggas can't hear you. Like it's like this ain't supposed to be barking. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, he said, was that North Carolina when I did that shit on the roof? Yes. No, I, no, I did some shit on. You might as well on the roof. just talk about it. Fuck it. Nah. Man. Nah, I ain't gonna do that. You yeah, officer. Uh, yes. <laughs> I didn't say anything. It was cool. It was in, it, it was a vibe. It involved a girl. That yeah. was it. <laughs> That's it. As far as I'm going. Shout out North Carolina. It was yeah. a great time. Well, I remember uh, playing PD Pablo, Raise Up, before we came out, and it was lit. Damn, what year was this? This was like 2014. 1995? No. We played it. 20 0 I don't know when that shit was. 2014? Did you take your shirt off? Yes. Spinning around your head? With, with, I had, and I had, <laughs> jeans I had jeans that I cut off and made shorts. Yeah. You had cut off jeans? Yeah. Hold up. That's, Hold what up. I was, that's what I was super Cali. It was deep. Yeah, yeah we still waiting on that. Cut off jeans shorts. I ain't going to say we still waiting, but like, Baby is the closest representation of where I was going to say, where so like, from. Okay. you yeah. would say like, he's the one. He's a Charlotte nigga, yeah, yeah, for sure. Okay. Like, he definitely embodies the energy that makes up our town to a degree. It's the closest that we've ever had. It's the best representation that we So are y'all flow had. like that too, besides you? Feel like what? Y'all have the same flow too? Nah. Oh, okay, no, no, cool. No, no, no. <laughs> yeah, I'm about to say, because your music don't sound I don't have that type of I didn't of flow, even put man. you in North Carolina, to be honest with yeah. you. I didn't know really where you, that's why I'm glad but you, you know, I've been moving pod. around for a long time, so my influence gets sticky. You know what I mean? Is all your family from North Carolina too? Like My mom's side of my family, I mean, my mom's side of, her family is from North Carolina, her whole family. And my dad is from New York. So ah. I say to New York, I spent a great deal of time out here. I lived okay. in Houston for two years. Uh -huh. I stayed in uh, Florida for a nice little bit. I've been in damn near every major yeah, hub, just moving around, yep. soaking up games. So you know, out here. You just yeah. been, you really from the, yeah. the soil, bro. Yeah, for real. And the, the best thing I could do to stay true to my town is like, just make sure I'm always talking about Charlotte shit. Like, right. I might have to, migrate a beat from this region. I may have to, you know, I ain't gonna steal nobody's language and shit like that, but I may just have to show that I've been influenced just yeah. so it, I could, you know, do what I need to do. Get that shit. Yeah. Because yeah. 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 we still trying to find our sound. Mm -hmm. That's you know? what I'm gonna say, like a Charlotte sound. I, 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 no disrespect to the baby, but I hate to be like, yeah, that's the Charlotte sound. Cause it's not the sound, but how he, whether we like it or not, like his interview style or who he is, maybe on the internet, like yeah. his person, Yeah, that's damn near, you know, even the way he dressed, like he he looks like a Charlotte nigga, whether he <laughs> dresses nice or not. You yeah. know what I mean? That's Motherfucker might had a, 
God damn, I'm saying some bullshit. <laughs> he, might, uh, <laughs> he might have a Gucci hat with the Gucci jacket, with the Gucci, Gucci pants, jacket, with the Gucci, Gucci shoes. <laughs> but that's just that's what it is. Stylish. That's a real, I respect that. And I'm that. not, hey, yeah. and I'm not playing with no. my man at all. Yeah. No, you know, that's, it's, that, it's all yeah. Dapper Dan. Yeah. That was all custom. That yeah, was all for yeah, real. That's like, key. Uh, like, uh, to me, how I view it is like every region from the South like has that type of influence yeah. where they're like, all right, head I to toe, I'm shit. matched up the game. <laughs> I'm matched out the game. I got the I got the full Gucci. Polo, on. Yeah. polo, 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 polo. I feel like polo. every single every single shout out to control. Like, this yeah. from the South, in my perspective, does that. But that's lit to hear that from from you like that. He's a he's a great rep- representation. Yeah, of that. for the most part, you yeah. know what I mean. He does shit that, you know, that I'm like. There we go. Yeah, you know what yeah, I mean? Like, there lit. we go. Yeah. Whether motherfuckers like it or not, you know, because it's... It's, it's um, politics. Yeah, I'm yeah, sure. Yeah, I'm sure. Yeah, and yeah. I'm, and I'm, I'm sure. And I'm really tripping right now. <laughs> you good. No, no, no. You good, man. You good, yeah. bro. Straight up. So, man, um, what I was going to say. Who, who do we not... Did we go to... Uh, how you been doing, though? Did we go to that part? We yeah. just started with him. Good. Yeah, I'm just making it. sure. I didn't want to, like, you know, go on rabbit holes or nothing like that. We go on hella rabbit holes in here. It's I know. Cool. It's fine. It's perfectly fine, bro. <laughs> How you been doing, Ring? It's been great, man. I got another scent, Big C. Have you gotten any yet? <laughs> this is how we oh, started off. I, I was meaning to say. This is how we started off season two? Yes. That's how no, I do not. Off. Not right now. Okay. I have a lot not of oil. Not right now. I have a lot of oil. It's not like a scammer right now. Cook a lot of food. <laughs> I have a lot of oil, and I've been eating a lot Stop, of fireplaces. I asked you a question. Stop <laughs> dancing don't around. Have any yeah, new... I'm talking about deep frying <laughs> shit. Yeah, I got a lot of oil. Well, I got, I got, I got, got a lot of deep fried, I don't know. You said a lot of oils. Care. I just want to... Oil. <laughs> Canoia. So, just for anybody that's just watching this episode, I brought on a new scent every single episode for the whole year of the end of 2020 and all of 2021. And we still got another one. This so what is we got right here? Givenchy, gentlemen only. <clears throat> you want to go ahead and try that big C since yes, you don't have any? You said you're gonna have, have three. The, how about this? You said you're gonna have three. That's why I'm on your head. You said that's that's who? Givenchy. Oh okay. Givenchy. Every time we come on the episode, he has some different yeah, sense. So we are gonna pass. Every time you don't, nigga. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, CJ. Damn. <laughs> nigga still lying. Not accepting this. This this fucking spring. I want you to think spring. Friendly. Oh, Elegant. Yeah. Elegant, friendly spring swag. This shit lit. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. This smells Let me see that great. shit. Wow. Yes, that shit good right there. New thing. It has a very, like, fruity undertone that's just enough, though. It's not yeah. overbearing. It's yeah. like, it's fruit, and then it, like, goes yeah. away. It doesn't <laughs> all the way go to the, <laughs> of the of the fruit word. That much shit up for sure. Yeah. Do you, are you in the sense? It's hella citrus. I am, but I only have like two, three. What's your two or three right now? My number nine and uh, Da Vinci. Hello. Okay. Let's no, get it. what the fuck am I talking about? Versace. Okay. That shit is bullshit though. Versace is when when it's, I was like 20. Versace's a great, a yeah. great I used to, I used entry to level. Like I'm, yeah. I'm getting into this. I understand. Yeah. I need to like get away from like the normal clones. I'm gonna start going to these. Man. But I don't have any, so you still have more than me. Look. So how about that? I have what Cassius gave me last went episode. From five. I have never. No, in Seattle, somebody told me I smell good. Other What's than that, buy mm-hmm. number nine. I've never cost like that. five plus. Seattle Damn. was the first time since maybe a year and a half that anybody has told me I smell good and I wear that shit all the time. Damn, so that was I'm not like, a good God investment. Damn, ain't no bitch gonna say I smell good. <laughs> he says vibe number nine. Bond number nine. It's supposed to be the shit. Bond number nine. Yeah, it's supposed okay. to be the shit. It's supposed to be one of I'm the sure ones. I've heard of that. I've definitely heard of it. I never, heard it, it. I never smelled it. It's yeah. supposed to be. It's supposed to be the shit, and but it smells. It smells great. You know, but I'm. I think I'm gonna grab some. Baccarat. Where were you at when you caught that? Uh. I'm not sure. I can't even remember. Probably like Neiman's or some shit like that. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Those can be shopping, bro. Yeah, I'm about to say. I'm, all, I'm, I'm like, he got the Nobu. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I respect the 20 tacos still to this day. Because <laughs> I've had the tacos there and I'm yeah. like, man, that would be fire to have 20 of them wild goo joints. Yeah, that's my problem. Hey, I'll be that, fucking that's fucking some shit that's how you got to do it right there. I'll stretch He be buying right. hella kicks. He be getting hella man, fits I was the off. beginning of man. He, hey. Nah, he texted me the way I even heard it, he texted me your videos. He was like, hey, bro, these Six are the slaps. These are <laughs> yeah. That's all he said. And nothing. And I listened, I was like, oh, yeah, no, this shit slap. Yeah, he was like, oh, yeah, he gonna come on the pod. I was like, oh, yeah. you know who it is? I was like, oh, I thought you just found this, like, yeah, looking on the internet or yeah, something. I appreciate that. You know, when I listen to real nigga music, my nigga, I immediately put you on it, like, facts. Yeah. Immediately. Because I, I DJ out here. So, yeah, he oh, was okay. letting me know, like, 
he always lets me know new slaps. He always yeah. looking out, bro. So yeah. I was just like, okay, yeah. So definitely, what songs was that you sent me? Uh, we were playing. I'm so still hiding in it. plain sight. Okay. And then when I when I played the fifth, he was like, oh yeah, this motherfucking shit slap, nigga. Yeah, that's the one. Crazy. That's the one in my town right now, man. Yep. Hell yeah. yeah, yeah was yeah. that one of your first? When was it? I always like asking that song. Like, when was it? Like in your town, the song that you're like, all right, yeah, this shit. Start getting cracking, like uh, I got well, everyone popping on this right there. 2017, I did a, uh, I dropped a song called Halftime, and it's weak as fuck, but I got such a good response. <laughs> like, I had enough people making videos. I'm sorry, it's just funny how you set that up. You're like, it's nah, weak that as shit fuck, is trash. I... If somebody play that shit right now, I will beg them to cut it off. <laughs> you know what I mean? But when I dropped it, I had enough people making videos on Instagram that I could make a clip of the entire song. Wow. So then I got picked up to do a show. I had just moved back from Houston. It was my first show back in the city. Mm -hmm. And motherfuckers was going word for word with me for the first time. So yeah. then I took a little hiatus on some street bullshit and I came back with another single and I still had the same good reception and I never stopped after that. Mm -hmm. So fast forward to the score and the fifth, I just sold out a show before I went on tour. Yep. I sold out a show in my own city. In four shit. days, yep. you know what I mean. I know that was popping. Like, how yeah, did that feel? Oh, like, that felt amazing. Walking into your own city, sold out. Like yeah, the whole it city, felt amazing, out there, man. man. It felt amazing. I brought Preem. I brought Preem to the city, so yeah. that helped. I brought my mom on stage. That kind of put me that in a whole another world. That's what I was talking about. Yeah, that yeah. shit looked live as fuck. Yeah, man. it was crazy when I brought my mom on stage. Mm -hmm. For real, that's so tight. Yeah, but the fifth when I uh, I was performing the score at that show, crazy. The fifth, crazy. Mm -hmm. So I said, okay, I'm gonna have to find a way to continue to work these. Yep. Visuals, great. Songs, great. Projects, straight to the point. Yeah. You know slap, what I'm saying? Slap. You're gonna get like, yeah, yeah you're, gonna get slaps, it. you're gonna get like seven, and that's like exactly how people yeah. listen to music nowadays. Right, you know right. What I'm saying? Straight Ooh. to the point. That's what's up, man. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Colors. That's my shit. Yep. Were you in Miami? I was in Miami for that. Okay. Yeah. I love that video. That video. I wish I would have had some better frames. I look a little silly in that motherfucker, but it had to be done. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I love how much of a perfectionist you are. Like, cause I, cause he's the same way, and like all my homies is rappers. They all like, bro, it's the it's video. Cool, that's yeah. just, that's just on the internet, nigga. Like, yeah. and until and you the take first it out of the song, is I can see it all through these frames on my face. Like, I just kind of got to the level. Where I was like, okay, I'm Cartier framing right now. I didn't have these two years ago. I had. Yeah. Some uh, some bullshit on. Yeah. And I'm like, but that just very, had to I'm go. very curious on what this bullshit you talking about. So I the wanna... frames? Yeah. They was weak as a motherfucker, man. <laughs> Look, they still in mint condition, but since I got these motherfuckers, I won't touch them. I won't, they won't, they won't, they won't make it over here. I respect that. Yeah. Oh, man. That's calm. Like, Wiz with the uh, LVs back in the when y'all first. Uh, oh, yeah, the show. man. He, you got know? The, he rapped about them, too. Like, yeah. literally. It's something about frames, and this is coming from artists. A painter is something about how it makes you feel when you put them on. Yeah. And you're just like looking through them when you when you first get them. Yeah. It's just like the world changes around you. It gives me confidence, man. Yeah. It gives me my confidence goes crazy yeah. when I when I, I don't know what things. it is. Yep. Straight up. For so many people around me, these was such an illegitimate purchase, but it make me so happy. You know what <laughs> I mean? That's all that fucking matters. Yeah. At that point. Real nigga shit. Real. Real nigga shit. What's your favorite shoe? Favorite shoe brand? Uh, I'm a nigga, man. Jordan. I knew it. Jordan. I knew Waffle it. House and Jordan. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> See, I thought it was a man. I love it. I knew it. I respect it. I love Jordan. I love Jordan. I love Waffle House. That's not like a cracking ass mixtape. <laughs> <laughs> Waffle House and Jordan. That's not like what. What else could I have said? My, my favorite shoe. I don't know. I guess I could have said, you know. Nike, you could you could have said, I don't know. You could have said Nike. Nike. You could have said Adidas. Yes. You could have said, yeah. I mean, if you just had some designer, I'd be like, oh, man. If you had been like Balenciagas, yeah. that'd have been crazy. Yeah, nah, be crazy. I love Jordans, man. I just can't go wrong. Sometimes when I'm at dinner, I'd be mad, like, God damn. Fucking you got like a go-to number, Jordan, you just like wear what it that the look cool you just go get it. Oh uh, nah, threes and fours. Okay. Threes, yeah. fours, and ones, and ones too. Like that I can't sense. miss. Yeah, one is probably the best design shoe of all time. Yeah. Besides like a check. The Taylor. elevens, come on, bro. Yeah. Relax. No, but I mean sure. aesthetically the one just it's it's timeless. Everyone yeah. loves the one. Yeah, sure. it's just a timeless shoe. I just shoe. love It's the very 11s. current right now. I think the Air Force one is the best design shoe. All I time. just don't like the way it fits. What you mean? It just hurts. Like, like a like Timberland after, boot. <laughs> it's like a boot. One. Yeah. It after three like hours in Air Force boot, One, my feet is heavy. like damn. No, I got I got I got a pair recently, but they're they're actually I got a women's shoe, but I got it like the big like my size, but in women's. 
uh, that shit actually fit different. It fit yeah. more snug, but I, I've been, I've been. You fuck with forces. I ain't fuck with the other yeah, size. To a degree, you know, yeah. I got a long ass foot, so them bitches curl up off of wear one. <laughs> yeah. like, I gotta really I just want a one and done these bitches, or I'm gonna leave them alone. I, I went through a deep forces. One step, that bitch is bent up, yep. and it was Bench. dark. They, I, I messed up so many forces in my life. Yeah. I just can't do them no more. But see, you know, I was in high school for that, uh, like that premium Air Force One wave when they had all the. Crazy ass Air Force Ones that was coming like out. Every color, like, yeah, yeah, like the, or the Key West, now. Yeah, the Ron yeah. Aldeans, and the Citrus Ones. What year ones. were you in high school? Like, what year did you graduate? Yeah, right. I'm about to, you want me to date myself? Well, I'm just saying, like, what year? I, I was a about freshman in high school in 2005. Okay, yeah, yeah, that's not the same time as all of us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, yeah I graduated 08. and I graduated oh, okay. 07. Yeah. Yeah. I graduated okay, cool. 05. Yeah, so like, I was just trying to say it was like this basically the same era of time yeah. with the same forces. Same, same era shit that we were influenced by. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah nah. real millennials. Y'all all like. went to high school out here, though, right? Uh, yeah, Marino Valley. We all went to the actual same high school. Was y'all wearing snowman shirts? Uh, I was, had one. I had one. I had you one. Had a I had one. Like, so y'all talking about that for a little bit too. Yeah, I had to. <laughs> USDA snowman. I yeah. did have one. I had one when I went to Norfolk State. I bought. One. I wanted one, but the one that had the swap me by my crib was not. We was it was, he had too much gold teeth and shit on. For real? Yeah, you had the snowman with the gold teeth. No, I said that's the that's the one that's the one the swap me had. So I don't, I want I wanted the G like the GZ type of one. Yeah, but they had the I fucking swap me one. That airbrush looking one. I had that in the fake echo velour. Straight up. I got suspended for wearing a snowman t shirt. It's crazy. It was like gang attire or something like that. Or like what yeah. they said. Damn. Yeah, around my way. It was, that shit was that shit was real. Yeah. Snow yeah. like Jeezy yeah. had snowman. that much of like an influence it's out there snowman. like that. Jeezy was <laughs> that deal. Yeah. That's because I, I don't got know, a snowman like, tattoo on my arm. No yeah. shit. Yeah. I'm heavily influenced by Jeezy. Yeah. Because I consider my music like hustler music. Yeah. If, it, if, it any, if you take anything yeah. away from my music, it's just Get some money, you know what yeah. I mean? Like get up and, and get it. Be yeah. accountable. Yeah, and that's yeah. just Jeezy influence all day long. Nah, facts. Yeah. yeah, straight up. Damn that man. Now nah, when you think of Jeezy, I was thinking about that Gucci Jeezy beef. Uh, yeah, the, the, not the beef. I shouldn't say that. The verses. verses. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I said beef just because it was too turned up. I but love them I... both, man. Being from California, I love them both. Like, yeah. you know, what I'm saying I've listened to more Gucci man music because he dropped so many goddamn mixtapes. But I grew up on them both. Yeah, mm -hmm. I love both yeah. of them. When I was in Atlanta, I don't know, man. Gucci man just like it took over. I, I wait, caught. Wait, I, it was he was bigger than all that. I'm yeah. sorry. Like in 2009 to like yeah. 2011, Gucci. Yeah. I seen he. I remember when um Burprint 3D dropped. Yeah. That's and DJ crazy. Holiday. I was in the club. It was. Mm. I know that. I want to say Ooh, Atrium. Yeah. It was in the South Side. It was in, or East yeah. Side. Excuse me. It was East Atlanta. It was an Atrium. Bro, Holiday did a party and he was like, "We gonna drop that new shit." He's like, "Smart uh, and then fun. frowny face drop." Yeah. Baby wanna flex me, I went in front of your face. He dropped that and the club went crazy. Then he dropped, I'm a dog. He dropped everything. G like, it was like a oh, hour. Yeah. And I seen Gucci a bunch of females. Yeah. I seen a bunch of females that was rich. Like they all had tables, all had their own money, all bottles, and they were rapping every lyric. Yeah. Harder than the dudes. That's when I was like, okay. So this is this what is one of those instances to where when you went to the South, you're like, I love it out here. I loved it. No, it was <laughs> I love the South. I can't lie. I wanna go I want to go back to Atlanta, but I can't. To do yeah. what? Chill. I want to be all. Nick, when I go back to Atlanta, <laughs> things have to be just like sweet. I just yeah. want to have like somewhere on Buckhead, chilling, have my shit with the whoop. Yeah, you like Southern hospitality, huh? It's so tight. Yeah. With Southern women, too. I love that all. I'm Girl, a California boy, man. Shit. I like that. You said I had to get out of it. It's too deep. It was yeah. beautiful, man. The Cali, no, don't get me wrong. I love California, though. Mm -hmm. Cali's home, but the Straight South up. was fun, man. The clubs out there, the strip clubs, too. Mm -hmm. How's the strip clubs in North Carolina? Is it just like Atlanta? They they're not, they're not, they're not like Atlanta. It ain't too many. It's only another one other city, maybe two, like Atlanta, Straight up. Houston, and Miami. Yeah. Yeah. But, uh, mm -hmm. Charlotte is Charlotte is good. You know, you get exactly what you're looking for. I've never <laughs> went on a nightlife. <laughs> I've never did a nightlife in Charlotte ever. Oh, really? Nah, I'm like Charlotte trying to think like what's the nightlife? You know, Charlotte is not like a small ass city. That's you know what I mean? When, when y'all say North Carolina. It's like y'all might think Charlotte is the same as a Greenville, and that is not. No. Yeah, Charlotte's huge. Yeah, that's a major city, bro. They got the Hornets, bro. Come on, man. It's a, it's yeah, a, it's MJ a for sure. On the, yeah, shout out Lamelo, man. Yeah. The goat went out there to cop a team, man. Charlotte with the tequila big. and cigars, yeah. it's hard it's lit. Got a parlay in his pocket. Straight up, You're stupid. <laughs> nah, but Charlotte, I'm yeah. I've never went partying out there. I want to go though. I want to do. We got to do something out there, bro. Yeah, man. 
You know, I'm not a big South African. But then you said it's like venues is hard to like. Yeah, like what's up African? out there? Like what's like? I mean, when around like 2013 to 2015, like motherfuckers was getting knocked off at the at the underground events, getting their ass whooped, getting arrested. Mm. A few people even get killed. You know what I mean? So it's like it's still the Bible Belt. So how other cities can recover from that and keep shit going, even keep their venue. Something go down at this venue, we taking the whole, excuse me, the whole thing. Yeah, yeah. Like, it's a wrap. So for a while, nobody could throw no shows. You know what I mean? Damn. Just because thing. word traveled that you young motherfuckers is tearing up shit. So nobody want to fuck with nobody. We okay. used to have a very dope music scene when I first started. You know what I mean? Like, it was a real scene where you could go and pop. Gosh, gotcha. yeah. that. Who's the first rapper that, or the most heavily rapper, when you feel like you wanted to become like a rapper too, to tell your story? Who's the person that did it the most? Your brother? Yeah, my brother. My brother um, make a lot of noise in the city, and I used to. My mom used to make me. My mom used to make him take me wherever he went. You know okay. what I mean? So if it was across the street to the studio, or even if he was just writing in his room with his friends, uh-huh. she used to make him let me in. You know. So I just would start writing with him. Shout out, Monster. Yeah, yeah. that's yep. tight. She's like, nah, this is really. happening. Yeah, bro. yeah, yeah. <laughs> it wasn't even about the music. It's just like you go, you don't shut your brother out. Right. Yeah. Shit. So he hated it. He hated me. Yeah. But I would be there <laughs> and, and I would be quiet because I didn't want him to hate me. And I just soak up so much game. Yeah. And my brother is well rounded in music. Like he put me on all the regions. Like I struggle with West Coast. I started picking up the West Coast music and the latter part of my life, but like all the New York sounds, all the Texas influence, all the Florida influence, my brother's on all that shit. Mm. So, you know, that was my first introduction. Like I, I've been writing my whole life. That's right. tight. I was just a ball player. Once I got done with ball, I started rapping. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, because you know the hustle, you know the grind, you know what yeah. it takes. Like when you see yourself as a ball player and you're working at something, and yeah. you see yourself like last year, like, damn, I'm way better now. It's right, the same right. with music. Right. When you keep working, you just get better, you get more polished. I had no confidence in ball. I was just I just worked hard as a motherfucker. So I told myself, when I start this music shit, I ain't gonna let everybody around me believe in me more than I believe in myself no more. I feel you. Right. That was my entire stint with basketball. Mm-hmm. Everybody believed in me more than I believed in myself. And I still made it to college to play, but I was just not confident. You know? I feel you. Yeah. So I just applied that to music and I just Said, nah, I'm gonna really? do this shit. Yeah. Shit's been yeah. going up since. That's bro. why I quit playing fucking sports. I was like, bro, I ain't finna, I ain't finna go pro in it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, I don't, I don't yeah. really give a shit. Everyone, everyone else took a hella serious too. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I was like, I'm, I'm, a, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna step, step away from this shit, my nigga. I played soccer my whole life. You was played, nice? Yeah, I was nice as fuck. Four year varsity, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Talk your shit. Oh, yeah, you know. Nigga, was it Europe? Yeah, but, you know, <laughs> like a club I was team? I wasn't doing that. He was buff. <laughs> Did you not go to Europe? I've been to, yes. Did you play, were you playing football at the time or soccer? That you went to Europe? That's a good. That's a good spin. You're like you're like okay, uh, NBC, well, my nigga. That's I'm a good done. spin. Okay, I'm cool. just going off of what you told me. Listen sir. to Big C. Don't listen to me. <laughs> okay. I was in Europe. Fucking Ronaldo <laughs> on the club team, chilling with Ronaldo. No, that was a job. Let him know. But a lot of people, when when they see me, they'd be like, you know, you paint and you sell and you're a clothing designer. You you can't play sports. And you're fancy. I was yeah. You, you, <laughs> you can't do you can't do nothing but fucking paint. Do do other little shit. Yeah. I was a primetime soccer player. And I play football, 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 mm-hmm. football, and football, <laughs> football, and ran track. Damn, yeah, and all those things. And I, had AP I, courses. Yeah, I had all AP courses. You sound yeah. jealous, Big C. Yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> it is yeah. crazy, bro. My mom, if I would have had just half of those stats, my high school experience would have been like smooth. I'd have had a bend probably. Yeah. <laughs> She'd have just did whatever, bro. Would have been perfect, right? I, mean, I just think it was nice too, by the way. Too. He wasn't was, just, he played this shit. This I, nigga was, I want niggas to know that I was nice. I'm going to post my highlights. Nice. I, he I, was nice. You got to post the highlights, highlights again, I am. Me and Dre are both nah, going to do was, that. He was oh, hella nice. Like oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah I got a little tape. This nigga yeah. housing, housing puns, housing kids. He's, doing, he's crazy. Oh, yeah. Crazy yeah. shit. I was nice. What? I ain't going to lie. Literally was send that shit to me, bro. I got it on my phone, my nigga. I'll show you after the podcast. He was buzzing fast. Ain't nothing to it, but you do it, my nigga. That nigga was swole. I was like, I was like one fifty. He wore jeans. I was like one fifty, one sixty. Right now, I'm probably like one twenty five, one thirty. Yeah, like a Nelly neck. You know so what I was saying? like, <laughs> hey, this nigga sees that fuck this nigga. Yeah. This nigga called me Exhibit. He said I. Exhibit I say look like boy, he like Exhibit when he got his braids. <laughs> I was like, man, bro. fuck this nigga, bro. Oh, fuck. it was, it was, it was pretty hey, cool. Hey, out here, bro. Yeah, yeah, but sports is the thing that taught me because I've been painting my whole life since I've been first memories. Yeah, but it taught me like the the growth and. Pro- progression and staying with shit, sticking with shit, like the, 
Like, being, you got to be a little competitive, too. You know what I'm yeah. saying? You can't hate on niggas, but you got to be a little competitive with your shit. Sports will teach you that, you right. know? So applying that to the entrepreneurial <laughs> world, it was like an easy, natural transition for me. Right. Into art and fashion, very easy, very natural. And, like, accountability. You know Off what I mean? Top, bro. People, we all have different definitions for all these words that we use for things. And accountability is the one that I feel like often we just fuck it up, fuck it up. And right. sports taught me... What I feel like is the best, you know, yeah. how to be accountable. Mm -hmm. a a accountable, you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. Hell yeah, because that shit is so Because you have a whole course. team of niggas. Like, yeah, if you when fuck you, up the yeah. whole shit, fuck up. It's, that's why I didn't work. Yeah, like, Them niggas told me straight up. He he remembered, like, he, yeah. he I was on the team. I, I was playing as a freshman, and then I was JV, but then he was varsity. Yeah. And, of course, you know how that worked in practice. Yeah. Them niggas looked at me straight up, was like, hey, yo, Big C, real shit, bro. If you ain't serious, don't come to practice tomorrow. Oh, that's hard. Yeah. And I went and started promoting I didn't see parties. I ever the next again, day. bro. Yeah. yeah. I went to promote parties the next day and started, you, you know. Make niggas run yeah. laps and shit for your Bro, life. I wasn't with that shit. <laughs> Them niggas was crazy, bro. They used to put their head on the locker. It was it was deep, bro. I went yeah, to the football parties, football though. It was lit. It is what it is. <laughs> I was playing sports for all the wrong reasons. I was just like, you know, I'm a big nigga. You know, that's what mm -hmm. you do. You play sports in high shit school. so much of my motherfucking life, motherfucker. I got I, one summer. I just went home and fuck around, got arrested. They say, "Don't bring your ass back." <laughs> Damn. I've been ever since. I yeah. respect it. I respect. I want to give that a round of applause, look. Yeah, I'm about to say that was beautiful. That was yeah. great. Yeah. Nah, yeah. man. Um, so what you been doing, Big C? I just, I told y'all I've been doing since, and I've been doing this NFT project, which we'll talk about on another episode because that's like a whole. Yeah, that's, it's a whole a lot, thing. That's a NFTs, whole lot of bro. I'm gonna be on. real, bro. But you be um, seeing me on the internet. You know I'm in the studio more than you rappers. If I'm looking Talk at your shit. If I'm looking at this camera. <laughs> <laughs> Talk in your the shit. studio more than you rappers, singers, producers, I'm in there. You'll see me in there making a play, you making really the call, design. You really causing a muck with that. With yeah, that, man. Uh, with that I don't line. want you guys getting I don't want you guys getting scared or I don't want you guys getting intimidated. I'm just letting you know that I'm in there more than you guys. But I'm always making a play and making it happen in there. Right. And that's that's all I want to say for what I've been doing because all the other shit. We'll be for next episode. I respect that. Yep. So what you been doing, see? Man, I've been getting season two of Big Cali World and Argoon Radio off the off the mat. I see some space over here. This is it's, new it's, space, yeah, right? Yeah, new space. Damn, we here. Guys, yeah. Knockhouse. Shout them oh, out, man. Okay. Productive culture in here. You know, still doing it in. We still yeah. with the home team. Feeling good. Feeling great. Mm -hmm. Doing that. Um, honestly. Spending my money more wisely sounds like mm. a sounds like a very adult thing to say, but mm. like, yeah, nigga. cause niggas can maybe making dough. I always made money, like my whole life. I always made some kind of what money. Two zips a week now, maybe. <laughs> 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 this nigga Big C be blowing it down, bro. I have, you already know. But anyway, yeah. that but it's like what you do with your dough, you know. And then yeah, now yeah. I'm just like, I'm like, you know, I'm I'm done. Not not done, but I have to ease back on the the other shit and put all my money into like studio time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like, I'd rather be in the studio than be, like, out. I kind of get what Lil Wayne was talking about all these years. I used to, like, Straight look at him, up. like, he's like, I'm in the lab all day. I was like, that's kind of weak, bro. You're Lil Wayne. I'll be in every club talking about I'm Lil Wayne. But then mm -mm. it's like, after that a while, you'd be like, what the what the hell is the purpose? Like, you, you can go literally... out with a purpose. Yeah, you go out with a purpose. You go exactly. out to support the homie. You go out to, yeah. because it's, like, beneficial for what you're doing. Yeah. That's when you go out. You don't just go, go out to the club waiting in line. Just to and, do it. Yeah, spending money for no reason. Bro, bro nah. I moved, when I first moved out here to Hollywood, bro, I remember the first, like three weeks, I dropped like eight hundred in a matter of like three weeks on just meals and lifts. Yeah, just unnecessarily. Had three phone numbers and maybe one meeting from it. <laughs> <laughs> maybe one meeting. The one meeting I had was like, hey, if I saw him again, we could talk. <laughs> if I some shit, it wasn't even like nothing. I was like, bro, what am I doing, bro? Hell no. Nah. So now, nah, but doing that, um, getting everything started with that. Mm -hmm. Uh, started working out again back in the gym. So you on that bike? Nah, I, I do that, but I do a lot of other shit, too. I had to switch it up. because I, re I reached what is called the plateau. Ooh. When you reach a plateau of so doing the same so exercises every day, you won't, like, see results. You'll oh, just, okay. you'll yeah, stay yeah. exactly where you are. You really? don't read. Yeah. I never heard, heard that heard shit. Yeah. Trust me, yeah. It's, it's a lot of shit going on. It's I'm a lot of things. Okay. So, I've been doing that, but no then I realized. No nowhere. Yeah. He's stupid. <laughs> <laughs> He's stupid. <laughs> nah, but um, going, while well, going to the gym, I realized, bro, that's just like a, a spa, bro. That's just very relaxing. I'll be going there. I'll be working out. Then I go in the jacuzzi, hang out so for a minute. Drop, you drop the feet now to go. Yeah, I go to an actual game. building. I don't work I out at home that. no more. I, I, I do the whole that. thing. I work out. I do weights. Mm -hmm. I do, you know, 
chest, the leg work, all that. Are you shit. hitting them weights now? Huh? Yeah. It's time. Kel, shout out Coach K. He's still looking for his hat. Hey. Um, <laughs> he, he he gave you a workout. You know, in the middle of him looking for his hat, he was just like, "I'll, I'll work out, work out for you." So he did that for me. You're looking out, Kel. Yeah. So how's the diet? Uh, okay. Here we go. Plant based like Big that. Cali like 2022. No, I'm gonna be real. The diet is this. Okay. I'm not on a diet. It's a lifestyle. <laughs> <laughs> I knew I knew it's the pies was. It's a lifestyle. I knew the pies was. It's a lifestyle. It's not a diet. <laughs> okay. It's oh, a lifestyle. That was great comedic uh, timing. That was great. <laughs> <laughs> All right, look. <laughs> All right, look. I'm not on a diet. Yeah, I'm not. It's a lifestyle. <laughs> I respect the honesty. And I've been doing intermittent fasting, mm. where I eat. I try not to eat past, except for like studio days, of course, like days. But like, yeah. I don't want to eat past like nine o'clock. And then I don't eat my first meal until like one. Okay. And I wake up in the morning and I drink a protein shake with a banana and water and sea moss That's cool. and vitamins. That's cool. Then I work I out and then I work out and then I eat my first meal. Okay. And then I smoke my first doobie after I work out. Mm -hmm. Ooh. So I like wake up in the morning, I'm sober every morning and I work out, sweat out everything, and then I smoke. And it's like I put everything back in me. It's like I break off even. Yeah. <laughs> it's like that's, it a good, that's a good trade-off. It works yeah, out. Like yeah. at least I'm not just like doubling up all day long. Mm -hmm. Like, and it feels good though. I can't lie. I mean, I was just getting bigger, and yeah. I can't go back to 500 pound Cali. But you see, but you see, I just asked you a real nigga question. You answered it honestly, and I respect I did. It. I'm, I'm about to tell my nigga Ghostman something about what was going on on this show <laughs> for go. like a uh -oh. year and a half. Here we go. Here this we nigga go. Nigga had this hashtag plant based big Cali. <laughs> okay. It's I think it started in 2019. It was 2020. It started in 2019. It was 2019. It was, 2019 was, it was 2019, though. And it was a hashtag. That he's just tagging all his pictures with plant based. I don't eat no meat. I don't eat nothing. And I was like, I did do two meals a day. No meat. This nigga I don't to believe eat. that either. So I don't know why you interrupted me. I think a bunch of vegan burgers. I don't know why you interrupted me for that. I was. I was eating, I was eating the most unhealthy. Yeah, shit. Go and ahead, then, though. Finish your shit. My bad. And then the next post would be like, this is my chicken wing recipe. <laughs> and then the next post after that would be like, all right, y'all, I didn't slim down so much. And all like the girls in his comments would be like, oh my God, Big C, I'm so proud of you. I'm like, do you guys not see that he's saying plant based with Cali? Yeah. And then posting chicken wings. And then posting smother pork chops. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is my daddy's recipe. I'm like, bro, this nigga's just tapping on the internet. No one sees this but me. Like, I don't get this shit. He was so bad. He I was, was so mad, bro. I, mean, I used to be happy. I used to go to his crib. <laughs> He will make the shit though, yeah. but like he had so much left over. So yeah. I used to go to his crib all the time. Smother like, where's it at? More than pork chop recipe. This is how my daddy did. My daddy from New Orleans. Yeah. So I cook Creole. Jeez. Like, we'll do southern chicken southern wings on the side. Smother pork, pork chop. Bro. I wasn't eating pork. He's saying pork chop. I wasn't eating pork chop. You didn't make smother pork chops not once. <laughs> you lying, lying, man. Nigga, stop. It. Yeah, man. You look delicious. Couple times I ate some pork chops. We come in clean, my nigga. We gonna come clean. Yeah. It was a lot of this man's face. I've pork chops in like a year though. Yeah. I, I ain't had pork okay. in a long time. I've had carnitas. That's pork. I can't lie. Yeah. I've had carnitas. That's my one pork I eat. <laughs> so I like, you just said I, I don't eat had pork, pork chops long. though. He said chops. Okay. He said specific pork. Okay. Hey, why is he looking at the? Vi oh my god! Did you see how he was chewing? <laughs> Thank you. See, Jordan always shout got out, me. I appreciate shout it. Shout out, my nigga Jordan. Pull I didn't even know you were <laughs> Hey, why nigga Jordan pulled up? Shout out to like Dev in the building. You know what it is. Dev. Thank nah, you, Jordan. I appreciate it. Jordan pulled up the old footage of the videos of me eating yeah. a uh, very crazy. unhealthy meal. But that was pre-surgery. That was pre-Big Cali. Yeah. Uh, that was pre-this Big Cali. Excuse yeah. me. That was super Cali. You're healthy Cali now. I'm and feeling that's good, tight. feeling great. That's tight. But I don't want you on the internet lying. If I was y'all just start trolling with the hashtag. I will troll you, it. my nigga. Don't trip. keep going. Yep. <laughs> Fuck it. Yep. Might as well. I'm going to be real, though. <laughs> the plant-based shit was tight, but... I was like at the beginning of the impossible Beyond Meat way where it wasn't everywhere and it was kind of hard. It is. It was hard it's to find shit and yeah, I'd be hungry. Oh, that big ass Big Mac he ate but it was vegan. <laughs> it was like, yeah. remember that shit? Plant power? Yeah, it's not <laughs> like, it's not healthy. Yeah. If yeah. I eat two, I'm not going to diss these niggas because I might want to work with them but still, I can't <laughs> do it. Okay? My just, thing with the whole vegan wave is like, why are y'all trying to give it the names of all this shit that people like? Like, why is it called a cauliflower chicken wing? Just call it a cauliflower wing or some shit like that. Yeah, I feel like, you. Like, why are you yeah, trying to right. make it the yeah. shit that have, motherfuckers like? That's for niggas like us, though. That's for yeah. niggas like us, so we have an idea what it tastes like. Yeah, so then we yeah. gotta ask and that feel embarrassed. Make the transition easier, I think. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's like methadone or something. <laughs> <laughs> that's Somebody a whole Somebody try to give me a cauliflower <laughs> chicken wing. I'm like, yeah. why are you calling it chicken? Yeah. Nope. Yeah. It's just cauliflower with good sauce on it. Yeah, cauliflower with French red on it. A cheeseburger, no meat. Can you call that? It's still a burger, right? 
I don't know. What is a burger considered? Is that like a sandwich? Or is a burger see, just in a circle see, bun? See, this is the rabbit hole. See? This yeah. is where it gets dark. Hey, man. This is where it gets real dark. Write, comment, let me know what y'all think. Because <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to go down this rabbit hole with you. Ooh, if man. a burger is a sandwich or is it a hamburger yeah, or what man, makes I'm a burger saying. a burger, what makes a sandwich know, a sandwich? sandwich. I don't know. When you put a sandwich bread on it, it's so officially a patty meal at that point. So <laughs> Is a patty meal a hamburger? No, it's a it's a it's a patty meal, nigga. That's that's, See, it's that's in its own cat. category. Be, oh, there's it no toppings on it, just onions and but meat. The bread is different. Cheese. So a hamburger might be circle bread because this isn't patty meal hamburger See, so with deep. cheese in like square bun. Is it in and out hamburger no, it's, it's, or is it's, it's, it's a sandwich? Bread. It's, 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 it's in and out a hamburger bread. or a sandwich because it's a square meat. Like doesn't matter about the square meat. Pause. Yeah, what? pause. This is too much. This is too much. Next, it doesn't have square meat. That's Wendy's. That, see, Big C, you fucked me up, man. Yeah, that one was, <laughs> you got me out here thinking wrong, nigga. Damn. Wait, in and out ain't square meat? No. no. That is Wendy's, right? Yes. yes. Okay. That's another one that's fucked up out here. Wendy's? You don't fuck with Wendy's? You don't no, like in and out? That's just the worst shit I've ever had. Thank I'm going to be real. You were real nigga out of town something. and not like in and out. Everyone from out of town loves in and out. I love in and out. In and out's good, but I get it. They put like a island on the burger? Yeah. That's fucked up. It's amazing. You got to get it. Here. I don't fuck with it out either. That's I don't. my fucked up burger. I've never really fucked with it like that. I like the price. It's just a little too thin, too it's much amazing. bread. Four dollars for. I a like burger. In and Out, but okay. it's giving me. It's giving me. Uh, I would love a stomach poison in once too, and that's probably another reason why I'm like hating a little bit. Is Del Taco supposed to be like Taco Bell? No, no. no. Del Taco is, is Taco Bell out here. Yes, yep. don't eat that. Don't eat the, Taco Bell or Del? Don't Del, ever go there. Don't I, go to I Taco really Bell. If you can avoid it, Del Taco's it. good. I like Del Taco. I like yeah. the burger. But I, I don't even <laughs> eat the... <laughs> shut up, okay? The Double Del Cheeseburger is one of the best cheeseburgers mm -hmm. in fast food. Qu quote me on that. Please quote him on that, because no one quote else, on no one else agrees with that. With no. It's fresh every time. Did you say no one really orders it, so it's always fresh. <laughs> I went to Apple Pan <laughs> today. They still say Apple Pan's good. Do you like Apple Pan? I liked it as soon as I bought it. I saw somebody post some shit called Burger She Wrote. Okay. Uh -uh. I've heard of that. Amazing. Apple Pan's amazing. Okay. Yeah, did you try the apple pie? No, I did. My man had told me I should have got the apple pie. The apple pie is fire. Mm -hmm. It's good. It's the hickory is my And it's not too sweet, too. Like, I'm not. You, you get the hickory burger shit? That's what my you man got, said you I should have got. That's yeah, like, the that's, that's the like they claim the fame. Is fire. That shit's amazing. The hickory burger? So I'm going to give them another try tomorrow because I got a steak burger and they put like some. Chow chow on that motherfucker or something. <laughs> Relish or something. Yeah, some of oh, places yeah. you gotta just you gotta get what you feel. Like don't yeah. try to go too crazy. I'm gonna try the hickory. Yeah, burger. the hickory burger's fire. Hickory burger's yeah. good. I, but well, let's see. What else? Homie Tiger's a fucking tuna sandwich. Yeah, what else you been? You been DJing and shit? Oh yeah, doing, I've been at the Classic Cat and WeHo. Okay. With DJing that, that's been a vibe. Invite only, right? Yeah, you very, can't just pull up there. No, you really? can't. Yeah, that sound dope. Yeah, yeah, you can't. You can't just pull up there. Um, it's very tight. You gotta walk through a kitchen. And then when you walk to the kitchen, then it takes you to the bar, and it's like a stage, and yeah. it's booths. Uh, yeah, it's like a mirror bar. Yeah, kind of like I say, like that, like that Harlem Nights, nineteen sixties, fifties vibe is dope. But it's a jazz night. Shout out John Luca. Mm -hmm. Um, we gotta have him <laughs> on here too. We gotta have him back on here. Off top. Yeah, That's my um, dog, man. yeah, John Luca for sure. Be in there killing it every week. Mm -hmm. And I'll be doing my guest DJ sets there and then uh, getting acclimated with the city, man. Yeah. Ooh. What song you played that was the most cracking when you played it there? K Tronada, that Sade K Tronada flip. I don't even know. That, that, that I is. got, that, uh, that Kiss is. of Life. You gave me the Kiss of Life. Okay, I heard that. But it's like, a, it's like an EDM version, but you know, I'll be, I'll be going on that. But then on some RB shit, probably. Ooh. Hey, that Prince hits. That Prince, The Dance. Oh, you play that there? Cause no one knows it. Yeah. Okay, you're a real player then. I'll be playing some real shit there. Mm -hmm. I'm giving right. niggas some slaps there. Like it be, I'll go there. I'll be playing like most deaf flips. I play Umi says. Okay. Like that's in the beginning, and then like towards the end, I'll be playing like City Girls. I don't know how I get there, but I get <laughs> there. Yeah, it gets there. Okay. It gets turned at the very end, like it's twerking and all kind of yeah, it gets fun. Yeah, but it's invite girl, only, man. so like you know the liquors there, you know it's, it's the whole thing. Yeah. Niggas be off the oysters and the shrimp, you know the sushi. They got all that in there too. Yeah, I got a it's a full yeah, the restaurant. Menu, the menu is is lit. I got a pull up between now and Tuesday. Uh, nah, but I stuff be coming up, bro. Yeah, it, yeah. I'll hit you up though. Yeah. A lot of my homies, all my homies, DJ out here. So okay. if it ain't one, it ain't me. It's one of my other homies, like Jimbo, Demon Slayer, the Hunger Mish. My Hunger Mish is like doing like 
20 events. She's always doing something. That's lit. Yeah. Shout and out Mitch. Shout out Mitch. Is, we that, don't have is that Jimbo's homegirl? And Demon, like, it's like, they okay. all, we I'll all, you yeah, know. Yeah, let's go. But they be killing it. Um, Cash 24, that whole yeah. loop. Squish City. <laughs> you know, that's they that's they group. So yeah, shout them out. I but um that. Yeah, man, just getting acclimated to the city, getting everything together, getting my shit up, man. Responsible responsible. Being a responsible adult. So, getting into this job, 33 year old life. Good job. 33 single, no children. What's up, ladies? We out here. Let's Ooh. go. You made it, bro. We here. You, heard you that? made it, bro. We here. I'm in that, <laughs> I'm in that I'm in that like what eight percentile? I don't know. In the yeah, in, in Cali? <laughs> it's probably like 10% of us. I don't know. Maybe 15? Like, you, I don't know. You gotta do you gotta do the numbers. Run the numbers. I'm gonna do that. the numbers. I need Kevin Samuels. <laughs> <laughs> he know that kind of info. <laughs> <laughs> He'll bring that. <laughs> He'll bring that. He'll like, oh, that's 22. <laughs> hey, he, he was so wild. I watched him the other day, but when are you gonna talk about him? Because you know, I'm, I'm trying to. My niggas. I'm trying to change Very my direct. <laughs> <laughs> trying to cleanse. Cool. Very direct. Kevin, Kevin, so what about well. what about uh, CJ? Yeah, what, what you, you been, been on, on, bro? What about What's up, me? Cassius, bro? What you Just drop midnight. You drop you drop, some, what, you mm. drop some type of project or something. I good looking. Yeah, I've been uh, I've been working hella, fucking you know, last minute crunch time shit. You know what I'm saying? Uh, the past two weeks with Reem, because uh, you know what I'm saying he's. You know, something like a manager to me at this point in my life. Yeah, this thing kind of smoked me out. Hey, I don't like the way he said that. He'd never want to give you the credit, bro. Sound like a little whatever. You know what I mean? Plays. I, I made I made it seem like nonchalant, <laughs> nigga. I, I was I was going. Nah, Reem does all Reem does all the, Reem does all the stuff I don't want to do <laughs> as an artist. Chilly. He make he, he, he gets it done. We make it a place. Nah, but um, I'm very tedious with my shit, so it's like you know what I'm saying. It's my first album I dropped in a minute, like full, like one of the best Western drop, like 2019 or some shit. Yeah. Yeah. So it's been since like then. Like 2020, 2019, some shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, just finally dropped Midnight Music, my nigga. It's, uh, Shit's hard. Thank you. Shit's a slap, yeah. bro. Yeah, the, the city's been kind of receptive. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's been hella natural. Uh, like, uh, like all the posts and shit has been, like, hella genuine. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. Um, and yeah, bro, just that. But Midnight Music. Um, Shout out my dog, Johnny Shipe, Smokers Club. Yeah, yeah I'm about to say, man, that yeah. ride up... It was dope. Bro. I was trying to think yeah. what I've been doing. I was like, bro, I've really been like just uh, just focused on this damn project for the past fucking yeah, the, and in the studio. In the studio yeah. and project, for real. That's it. Shout out to Sandria for all the write ups, Smokers yeah. Club yeah. for posting it. You got a name for it? Or you, you ain't released it? It released, released it. Just, no, they just dropped Midnight Music. It's, yeah, on... it's a, oh, I'm thinking about the video. It's a video you dropped that um, I was looking at. That's probably on that project. On yeah. Take yeah. Your yeah. Shoes yeah. Off. It was like, I had yeah. dropped Take Your Shoes Off. Yeah. My boy. Dev shot that. Yeah. Shout out Dev. Dev Playtime in here right production. Now. Shout out yeah. Playtime Production. Um, you know what yeah. it is. Yeah, I have that. And I, had, I dropped another one where we're playing. Uh, we're playing cards. That's shot by Mars. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um. Yeah. And then that was like a cool little tra- like I just like a trailer. Shout out Fly Like Mars. Yeah. Yes, sir. And then I had that. I have like a. I got this like three D crazy looking like like artsy ass video. Mm-hmm. Little butt naked girls in it. You know what I'm saying? A little, oh, yeah, little, little, and, little android looking. Yeah. This intro. Ball headed butt naked. Yeah. That's beautiful. <laughs> That's uh-huh. beautiful. Ball headed, yeah. But uh, ball headed, <laughs> ball headed way. Way. can't get you no know. handbag. Hey. Hell, we Your hey. hair's messed up. Hey, yeah, but after that, you know what I'm saying? I'm just, I'm chilling. I'm about to, uh, you know what I'm saying? Uh, take probably like a, only like a week off, probably because I got to get back to it. I ain't gonna cap. So um, yeah. I just need a little. You know what I'm saying? Just trying to unwind. Book the trip to Jamaica and shit, you know what I'm saying? So, oh, yeah? yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. Hello. That's not Niggas is like, traveling? That's not till the end of May, though. Niggas is leaving but, the country? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. I, I feel you. you. Gotta I need to beach. experience on, my brother. Hey, man, I feel you, bro. I ain't never been to Jamaica, either, so you know what I'm saying? That's Hopping cool. that yeah, warm-ass water. water right yeah. Now. Straight up. That's so crazy how them beaches out there, that water's so warm. When I was in Costa Rica, that water was so warm. It was like a jacuzzi it's in Because you beach. peed in it, nigga. Shut, I'm just playing. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm just I playing. hate you. God damn it. Oh I didn't God. say a joke in a while. I was, I was getting antsy. <laughs> and uh, CJ really? has great comedic time tonight. You want to do a, a quick best and worst before we get up out of here? Yes, let's do a best and worst. And I have a special best and worst for my nigga Ghostman. So this is, a, this is a segment that I do. I'm going to give you a topic. And you give me the best out of that topic and the worst out of that oh, topic. Oh, shit. And we all go around. <laughs> yep. So, for this special best and worst with my nigga Ghostman, I want you guys to all give me best and worst Jordan sneaker numbers 14 through 23. <laughs> 
Okay, Only about. those numbers. 14 through 23. I have to look these yeah. up. Look it up. Hold on. I forgot what the 14 nah, through 23. Nah, the 22s is pretty nasty to me. <laughs> I got those got too. I hate them. Hold on, hold on. I'm going to I love you doing them on top. I'm going to say hold 18. I got to look at the Jordan 22. The, the, the best. Ooh. The best, the best, the best probably had to be. Uh, what's the one with the net going across the front? Is that the, a sixteen? That's a sixteen. I think that's, that's the best. It has Pat Leather on the on the on the sneaker. Yep, on the on the fourteen. Toe. The Ray Allen joints that he had. And the sixteens look. Those are the sixteens. The fire. Yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. if we're going 14, 14 through twenty three. Fourteen through Four, 20, so so. fourteen to twenty four. 16s is the best. 22 is the absolute worst. For me. <laughs> I got those in my garage right now. Uh, <laughs> why do you? <laughs> because like, when I was working at Nike, when I was going to Arizona State, yeah, 16s you just got wear, yeah, nobody got no one. No one wear the 16s. All right, like, nobody. Was heat, though. I knew I one Filipino homie. My nigga, my nigga Ray had the 16. I was like, nigga, how the when nigga, where do you find the 16? Best at, ones. Bro? Hold on. When, I'm I was, gonna... when I was younger, I had. Oh, these are kind of. My cool. cousin took me to Flight Club, man, and. <laughs> I could have got some heat. I walked out of there with the black 16. He paid Man. $500 for them shits. Mm. Mm. I could have got any fucking thing in that store and I got them shits. Yeah, I think you I bought up. one pair of shoes and I, I fucked up too. Yeah, it was I did, dope, I did a but it wasn't like $500 dope. I ain't need to buy them bitches. I could have got some crazy shit. Yeah, that's right. Could have got some South Beaches, yeah, any be, fucking thing. Yeah, you yeah. have every shoe in that motherfucker. Right. Straight up. Hey, I'm going to be real. The Jordan 17's release was tight. Cause it had that, that box, okay. yeah, that's it had the suitcase. So yeah. I will say that's just an honorable good, mention. I'm just gonna think, I'm just, going through them right now. I was Jordan on the Wizards and shit, and I just didn't fuck with anything from that period. Oh, these 21s is trash. I'm choosing the 21s. Yeah, my low key. <laughs> hey, the yeah, 20s is a dark time, bro. The but the 22s is a little worse than those. For them, real, them shit was kind of fire. Yeah. To me. Hey, I love all of us have our phones out right now. We all. Okay, the, sure the 19s is cool. Right. This shit like a Shaq shoe um, or something. This shit look crazy. So can I do mine? <laughs> yeah, go do That's yours. I'm still looking. The 21. <laughs> he said that look like, <laughs> do it like it look like a Shaq Sha Sha O'Neal shoe or something. Oh shit. Sha Sha a Sha 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 I don't know why I call Shaq a full name like that. Sha 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 I could have just said Shaq and called it a day. All right, I got mine. Go ahead. see the 22s? My worst is for sure. I'm you about these, but those are my The 19s. Hey, you're tripping, bro. Those the are hard. Out of all those, those are the worst ring. Hell no. So you're telling me the 19 the... Is, is better than, is, is worse stink. than the 23? Those are stinky. Yeah. I just have a net. That those little... are foul, bro. Yeah, these like a laser foul. print. It has no. It has like the full net on the whole front yeah, of the shoe yeah, and a strap in the back. Can I be real? The only I, reason I, I like those a little bit is because it was this girl. I'm not gonna say her name because she listens to this podcast. But at Valley, she was bad and she used to have those and she looked good. So fuck it. So I want you to get them and see if they look tight on you. No, they won't. Yeah. How about that? Those are stupid. I would never buy That's them. why I picked those as my worst, okay? okay? This nigga was the only child. He got all them fucking shoes, man. Yeah, this nigga, <laughs> every, every fucking Jordan, this jealousy. nigga had it. My best? <laughs> I like I'm, the 19s. I'm going to go with the 14s. I like the 14s. 14s the is little dope. black and red ones. The ones they shaped out of a Porsche or some shit? Or yeah, like, yeah. or a Ferrari. I think it's a Ferrari. Ferrari? Yeah. yeah. Okay. It they Ferrari. just shaped weird. Like, now they, they kind of fit like... Like LeBron's or some shit. Like, don't <laughs> be in the club wearing them shits in jeans. The ones that I dropped around, like, <laughs> ones, the ones that dropped in like oh six oh five. That that whole little stint they had right there, those is heat. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they were. Like the little, the little, that little suede with the green. That shit was stupid. I got those. All right, the white and the green, and I. Dead. Yeah, that yeah. Was fire. CJ, you got yours? Are you? On uh, yeah, my worst is twenty one, and the <laughs> the twenty one. The best. Oh well, um, shit! You said fourteen through the thing. Yeah, I probably say. Mm, man, I'll say I, I'm gonna, I gotta go like this. I, I gotta copy this nigga. I like the fifth. I like the sixteens, my nigga. They're like just 16s. they just they heat. I ain't gonna yeah. lie. No one ever had the sixteen. It's like it's one shoe I always I'll joy. I always wanted, but I could never fucking find all a sixteen. Black, all black with a little bit of red yeah. fire he and the white blue fire. Yeah, without without doing what you you know what I'm saying. Without go, having to go to flight club, nigga, you can't find fucking Straight 16. Up. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna be honest with you. All right, I have two best. It is. Why I have to explain? Have, why you always have? I have to explain. I have to explain. All right. I want the fourteens. But I never owned the 14s because they're not rare fat player approved. They're not. But the aesthetic of the 14s, I always liked. Really? Uh, yeah. They're not rare fat. Like a, I hate all fat niggas like in 14s. They look crazy. No, it does. The shape is, the like shape a, is fire. I like how sleek it is. Yeah, it, it looks, looks like, like a, a Ferrari. It looks, yeah. Yeah, it looks yeah. like a whip. He got it with that. So, yeah. and was, wasn't that the last Tinker shoe? Uh, Tinker might be the 13s, maybe. He didn't do the four. No, he did the four. They did the 14s. He did the 15s too. Did he do the 15s? He didn't do that whole, nah. the whole original card. He did. I think it started did, did three, it's... on, to like fifteen or thirteen. See, now he made he made the fourteens, bro. He wasn't looking for his I, little. It might be three to fifteen. It was, it was shaped like the shit. Yeah. You know he saying? didn't do number two. I know that. And 
I don't know who did number one. He didn't make. He didn't make the eighteen. He didn't make that. He was responsible for the eighteen. None of that shit. Nah, so. no. nah. Uh, uh-uh, it was somebody Hold else. Hold on. All right, fuck it. Since we don't got a researcher, <laughs> we're gonna do this. Can really you give me your best and worst. Yes, the fourteen is my best, and then the eighteen, which was those. Uh, you don't like the eighteens? Yeah, I that's like kinda, those. Uh, that's I your like worst the, or your worst? No, like? my best. Okay. And then my other, my worst is whatever shoe you said. I hate those. <laughs> I don't even remember the number. The 19th. Yeah, those are weak. I, I was trying to find when he stopped. All right. I don't even so, yeah, that's my, that's my best and worst. I'm trying to think of what was Tinker's last shoe. Hold on. Thank you. We need Tinker, that back. I was figuring yeah. it out, too. I, I guess I typed it in wrong. Tinker Hadfield. When did Tinker Bell last? Tinker Bell? No, I'm just reading. Hey, he's I just, looking at some no, I'm, reading, I'm, just, I'm just reading what Google says on the bottom. <laughs> when you type, when you start, when you like in the middle of typing. Like, my nigga Tinker Hatfield, my nigga. Nah, hey, man, why is it not giving me this info, bro? I was trying to find it, too. It's like, That's a hard question for Google to answer. It like, is. It's like, they don't even know. Bill. I'm like, all right. You need basic question. Look, if you know what Tinker Hatfield's last shoe Put it in the comments. Put it in the comments. We don't got time to look over it. Right? I appreciate I'm over you. It. <laughs> all right, I'm over it. I'm mad because it didn't pop up and my phone's tripping now. Now I got bigger problems. Okay? Straight up. Fucking T-Mobile. One day. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry For Real nigga man That felt good Anyway yeah. Ghost man I appreciate you coming on the oh, show no doubt, bro. I found I it I appreciate y'all having me mm-hmm. you, you did? You found it? It was 3 through 15 Thank you That's what I said right And he made he the did. 20s And he made the 23s Ooh, Ooh. Disgusting Alright well the 23s is my worst Cause it's Tinkers Hey man Tinker I have to pick one best from Tinker And one worst from Tinker Tinker hit a brick with that one But yeah, you he got did. hella heat though bro He does You probably got so much world. fucking uh, technology in that damn shoe, but it's just weak. It's yes, weak. Yeah. But nah, but I appreciate you coming on the show, man. No doubt, Where can man. people hear you? Like, get your music. Get oh, your, shit. Go ahead, shout your shit out, man. What, so, shout your uh, next stops, too, because this is everywhere, man. Okay, so, so my official name is Southside Ghost. If you want to find the music, mm-hmm. like uh, any streaming platform, plus YouTube, Southside, G-A-U-X-S-T. But on social media, it's Ghost Man, G-A-U-X-S-T-M-A-N. You know, I spell ghost a little weird, so I gotta spell I fuck that with motherfucker. It. Yeah. It's like French multiple almost. Times. It is like it's, it's like an elegant spelling of yeah. very high fashion. Yeah. I ain't gonna yeah. 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 I fuck with it. Um, but uh, so when I leave LA, the next stop is San Francisco. We ha- we canceled Denver, so the next stop is uh, Dallas and South by Southwest, showing Houston. Okay. And then we're gonna go over to the East Coast, to the Atlanta, DC. I gotta I picked up a show in Charlotte with Max O Cream and. Uh, Shout out Maxwell Cream, hell yeah! His, his, hell his yeah. tour DJ is uh was my engineer in Houston, so I kind of okay got cool with them. Yeah. So I'm gonna do that on the 30th, then go to Nashville, in the tour, man, and then you know that's gonna be it. Hopefully yeah. everything be smooth. Bro, that's a lot of dates. You just let these out right now. That's a lot, bro. Yeah. And you just dropped the project on what Monday? Uh, yep, I yep. dropped the project on Monday. What's that called? It's called RCL Slim, man. Yeah, it's inspired. Uh, the 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 delivery of my message is dis- is inspired by Iceberg Slim. Okay. Ooh, you know, the coast. So, yeah. Yeah. I just I already to... listened to it. All slaps. Just like yeah, y'all know. Really so go check that out, please. Please all go right, check shit. it out. My nigga Ghostman come with the slaps off top. Yes, quality sir. music, quality projects, quality visuals. All slaps, no cap. Yep. Appreciate off top. It. And that's right, Jack. So what's your Ooh. next single going to be, you think? <laughs> I'm releasing a single called... Uh, I already had it planned. Like... Um, when my cameraman gets all the footage from the whole tour, mm-hmm. I'm gonna do a recap video with this song I just recorded for okay. the tour called Go Stream My Shit. Because okay. I, I don't stream well. I feel you. So I just wanna. Oh, what's to, happening? Yeah. Yeah, come. Yeah, 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 yeah. But no. I'm, I'm already. <laughs> I hope uh, we keep this clip and we play it like yeah. years later. Right. You be like, oh yeah. damn! Right. <laughs> but like, you know, I don't I, stream. I don't know what's going I mean, on. You get shit, like a record. That shit pick up random. <laughs> yeah. I recorded a record called "Go Stream My Shit," but it's really based on just being inspired for going on <clears throat> tour and shit. Mm-hmm. And I'm gonna drop that bitch in about a month. Swag. Lit. Yeah. Hell yeah. Hey, man. Well, so, we appreciate you, man. Yes, sir. You're always welcome here anytime you're back in L.A. You yes, just want to pull up, bro. Come to the stool. We'll get it in, man. For sure. I appreciate for sure, it, man. Thank y'all for having me. For yeah. Cash is any final words, man. Where can people hear yo, your album? 
Uh, you can just go to cashisgreen.shop. I got everything on there. Talk your shit. Socials, videos, it's all on the first page. Just scroll down. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Midnight Music's on Spotify. It's Apple, on everything. Spotify. Google, title. A Deezer. Whatever that's on the Shout list. Shout out Deezer. <laughs> I don't ever know what that is, yeah. but we see it. It's I just there. always see it on the list. It's there. <laughs> yeah. I think and it's, I think whoever's it's, on that, we fuck I think it's with German. You, I think yeah. it's a German streaming platform or something. Oh, okay. It sounds sound, sound kind of Deezer. Deezer. Shout out yeah. Deezer. Sour Deezer. Sour Deezer. Sour Deezer. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's on everything, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm about to um I'm about to low-key uh, uh do this little TikTok shit too. Um Oh, you crossing over to TikTok? You Let's do, go. Like, dance or something? Or you nah, do? fuck no. <laughs> to take yeah. your shoes off dance? No, nah, I mean TikTok, I mean a lot, a lot of music breaks on TikTok. Yeah. Uh, no and I just found out TikTok, 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 TikTok is doing a stream. Yeah. I just found out they're doing a they're they're doing like some type of stream service too on TikTok now or some shit. Mm-hmm. Um, but uh what I was saying, uh I ain't doing a fucking dance. Um, <laughs> I wanted I'm to a, see like a little passage. I'm gonna do like the take your shoes off. The take your shoes off. The the single the single yeah. I got. I, I thought this idea. Uh, you can just drop it. Don't say that idea right now. Cause uh-huh. they gonna steal it, bro. They gonna they steal, gonna it, steal it, bro. It's TikTok, bro. The, he told wait. me the idea last night, and I was like, "Yep, that's fire." Okay, so yeah. just wait till it drops, bro. Niggas ain't got the same song as me, so fuck these niggas, man. <laughs> He's about nah, to I'll do. Play out. Yeah, nah, I'm not gonna say. But for the song, take your shoes off. There's gonna be a TikTok thing coming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But we're yeah. not gonna say what. And I'm, and I might have some money involved too. You know what I'm saying? I like it. I, want, I, want, I don't know. Your niggas I want niggas to battle. Gas I want, is I want right niggas now. to battle each other. Yeah, cool. everyone, everyone need a little hundred here and there. Oh, yeah. and by the way, all people from out of state or anywhere, when y'all complain about gas prices, do not say anything to anyone from California. Never. Or Los Angeles. Mm. Gas is crazy right now. We're all on edge. We will yell and we will curse. Somebody yeah. just said, oh, man, it's 4.30. No, what are they Bro, doing? Bro, I just went I to Costco nigga, and, sp- and paid 5.50. <laughs> I was like, it's 5.50 at Bro, I Costco? I paid 6.09 today. See? I put, I put, four, I I put 40 in the tank on the way here. I got barely test a half, barely. Bro, like, that car was at a half and... From half, it took me seventy eight dollars to fill it up. See, okay, so we come on, man. Biden, what's up? What's I'm gonna say? Come on, <laughs> Joe, we need cars, it. Man. What up, Joe? I want to have that moment Possibly, again, bro. We yes. need that. Can you just bring it back to like? We gotta go green. That's what you. Know what Can you just yeah, bring it to yeah. four? That's what they. I'll be cool at four. I was cool at it four. Ain't been at four in a minute, bro. You're at, that's wishful thinking. <laughs> it ain't, ain't been at four. four in a minute. Come on, man. Three fifty. I just, I remember just, the 320 I just days? Wanted, I just want a nice five. Ooh, the EDD days? When I remember the 320 was, days. Those was, was good. Mm. When you could put the dub Ooh. in the car and just go. Yeah. <laughs> Bruh. Dub All right, man. We're going to get up out of here, man. Yeah, man. Um, any final words or anything? Uh, UTB, NFT.com, UTB Lifestyle, that store. We have a collection coming out in a few weeks. And yeah, just t- tap into my Discord, the Rare Argon Discord. Or I got to get on. Lifestyle. My bad. I'm slipping. Yeah, no, sorry. Yep. I know. I'm big you slipping. <laughs> And uh, yeah, wait for these collections to come out. You you gonna see me live doing all the shit that I do, how I create it, how it's uh, manifested, all that. Tap into UTB Lifestyle, no UTB Worldwide Instagram, the UTB Lifestyle Instagram. I hate remembering all that. Yeah, it's a lot. I'm hungry, man. Y'all can now, I, now, I, now I know how fucking Michael Jackson <laughs> head was. So bro. much. That's a lot to remember, bro. It is, man. So we out. Yeah. So um. Peace, for, this podcast, for this podcast. For this <laughs> podcast. And Big Cali World. You can go to BigCaliWorld.com. Also, go. subscribe to the Big Cali World YouTube channel. Mm-hmm. For all your podcast needs, go to ProductiveCulture.com backslash podcast. In the How Did You Hear About Us section, put Ooh. in Art Goon Radio, Big Cali World, Big Cali Ream, Cashes. Put okay. Ghost Man Told Me About It. Anybody, mm-hmm. okay, we'll know. Mm-hmm. All right? And you'll get that special discounted rate. Trust me, it'll look right. Don't hit me up tomorrow. I want to do a podcast and then not have a plan to hit up ProductiveCulture.com. And I have no bread. No bread. Don't be like, wasting time. Yeah, man. we're not doing Just that really in 2020. Gas is 750. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> it's dark. Playing, okay. We don't have time no more. Okay. Yeah, bro. We're just 2022, we're over it. Don't okay? be on there doing false inquiries, man. Really, if you want to do a podcast, really do that shit and come with the bread, man. Come with the bread, bro. Because you see how we do we look AK right now? I want to know. Comment. <laughs> in the comments, <laughs> tell us how good our skin looks yes. and how clear we look. Yes, because I'm off of Shea Butter and Sea yeah, Moss. Hey, hey, tell him, Big C. Holla at me. Hey. Shout out to Taj Mahal, 54th and Crenshaw. We're here. That's anyway, good. it's the man with the plan. I ain't Clark Kent, but some of the ladies do call me Superman. It's your boy, Big Cali, Ghost Man. Appreciate you for coming sure through again. Yeah. So. Rare Art Goon Stream Heaven, you know what it is. Cash is green, the best money making my Muhammad Ali. Hey. This is Art Radio, man. Peace. <laughs>